because what I am saying, Honorable Man Yamini, our people are lame. They are weak. I am struggling to count how many men there are in Biafra land. There are no more men left. Weak, docile, and imbecilic. Weak. I don't know how we can take such people to war. I don't know how we can take men who are not men into battle and win. I am ashamed. Very, very ashamed. Nonetheless, we must preach this very gospel because man did not ask us to come. Chikwa Biyama in heaven mandated that we should come. If not, that I was called to do this very work. I will not speak to any of you anymore. But Chukwa Biyama said this very gospel must be preached and we must preach it. I have prayed since yesterday up until now. My request is very simple. The same prayer I made in secret, I will make out here in the open. Since it is your intention that your kingdom will be restored upon this very earth, I need men. I need men. I did not say boys. I said I need men. Those of them that you created to restore your kingdom, they should come forward now, not tomorrow, not next year. You must bring them now. I did not say tomorrow. Because the insult is too much. It is beyond what any human being can endure. We want to go and get Biafra or we die in the process because we are better off dead than witness some of this nonsense going on. The level of insult is beyond what any decent human being can tolerate. I was an Achinama. They bring their cattle into our land. They desecrate our land. They kill us in the presence of our families and nobody does anything about it. And when the police attend, the police sit idly by as people are being killed by not a multitude of people. Only four. Only four Awasa people can sack an entire village in Biafra land and we call ourselves men. No, we are not men. Until we redeem our honor. Until we look at integrity and say we must have a part of it. Until then, to be honest with you. This is Radio Biafra. Now is the time to come forward. I did not say tomorrow. Now, tonight, is the time to come forward. 100 of us and then we march. 100 and we march. The rest can come later if they want to. I am tired of broadcasting. I want to fight for my country. I want to carry arms to defend the honor and integrity of my country. I want to avenge the death of 6 million people. I want Biafra to stand as a beacon of hope, freedom, and liberty in black world. I want Biafra to stand as a testament to the glory of heaven upon the face of this very earth. I want Biafra to stand because my obligation to the dead outweighed that which I owe to the living. That is why Biafra will stand and Biafra will come 100 men, that's all. And we march. The rest can come later on. I no longer give a damn. The disgrace and the insult is too much. We must go and meet our enemies even if we have only machete and hose. It is far more better for us to go and meet them and die with a semblance of dignity than with this very humiliation which we encounter every blessed day. We must assemble as quickly as possible. Yes.
you are welcome. You're welcome to the program live and direct on Biafra Global Network. Good to have you here, everyone, both those who have come with their mindsets made up and those who have come with their mind open to listen and to understand. Biafra is something that we are targeting. And anything that will stop us from receiving our freedom, we are ready to take away from the road. We have sworn our lives to keep Biafra, to preserve Biafra. And that is one of the things that is making us do what we are doing. And when we begin to see things go wrong, it is our duty to see that we set things right and correct things. And um, we have tried as much as possible um, to make sure that we try to get things working in the secret. But yet um, we have um, a leader, of, uh, of course, Mazin Amikan is the leader. We have a spokesperson who um, decides to rubbish and bring us to the public to rubbish, to rubbish everything that can be done um, in secret. I, this is the first time in my life I see somebody who is expected to behave professionally as an adult and as someone who has been put by Onyendu at least to take his place for the meantime um, try to rubbish things by himself. And so since um, they have decided to come out all out to wash the dirty linen, we are here to set the record straight. We're not here for personal attacks. We are here to set the record straight. I have my my comrades in the studio already. And um, this is um, uh, Mazi Ken. Mazi Ken is here. And um, also we have um, Mazich and Chidozia is here. Uh, we are all here. And of course, um, we have um, Mazi Kennedy is here. Also, we're waiting for others to come in. And as soon as they get in, we're going to be talking this out serious and, and real Biafrans, people who have dedicated their lives and said they're going to stand for the truth and nothing but the truth. Now, please, I want to correct this impression. We have not come for attack. And we have come to set the record straight and to make sure Biafrans understand what the truth is. And of course, by the time my, my comrades, you know, um, here have been able to establish the truth from their own testimonies, I am going to take my time because I don't want to bore them with the details. I'm going to go into details to give Biafrans things that have happened and how they have happened. And so that you can understand, because these are things that we would have actually, if we are reasonable, we would have been able to sit in house. And of course, as somebody who is a spokesperson who should be mature enough to understand what it means to have the responsibility of a spokesperson, rather comes all out to rubbish the whole concept of Mazin Namdekanu's program. And I want to tell you today that if that is the way he wants to go, then we are going to defend this with the truth. And that's what we have come to do. And of course, um, I stand for the truth. Everyone here stands for the truth. And we're going to make sure that we do due diligence to the facts we have not come to attack uh, Simon Nekba. We have not come to attack anybody. We have come here to set the record straight. And these are the things we would have resolved. Remember last week, um, was it um, two days ago, I told us that we are inviting him for a meeting um, so that we could talk. But um, the next thing we see, rather than coming for the meeting, he's too big to come for a meeting. So he thinks that he has to come to social media to rubbish those who are dedicating their lives and opening their face to the public, to risking their lives and their families to talk for freedom and to defend the cause of freedom. Mazi Simon Ekba, or Simon Ekba is the spokesperson. He is not the leader of Biafra. So if he has been given the mandate of to be, a, uh, to be the spokesperson by Biafra people, he should understand that the meaning of being a spokesperson means to speak the heart of the people and not to blackmail the people or cause chaos. Today we have situation on ground, and but I'm not gonna talk too much because I have um, people, you know, thank you so much Mazi um, and Prince Ezim Ihena Cho is here already, of course, the man who stands for the truth and every time standing and speaking the truth. I want to appreciate you, please. I will give my the, the comrades the time, you know, to introduce and um, let's introduce ourselves one another. I think the network is keep, um, taking some of us out. Um, um, somebody's asking why now? I think you should have asked Simon that question. Why now? If you call somebody who is your leader, or oh, sorry, sorry, the spokesperson is not the leader. Mazin Nandikano is the leader. If you call your spokesperson to come um, to a meeting and he comes outside Five. to um Eight. actually um Eight. talk about um Seven. um to Seven. to actually discuss Seven. the issue that Eight. should have been discussed in-house why are you coming to blame those no. who want to explain the things no. so don't the issue no. of why now which should be directed to simon because he's the one so um now um, Mazi Chidozia, please i want you to introduce yourself to biafra people so that they will know you 
um, uh, better from your um, you know perspective. Um, so, so please, please, sir, please go on. <clears throat> then one. Um, all hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Uh, um, because the way things are, I'm just going to leave it at that. My name is inconsequential. Even though some people like to uh, call people, blackmail people, and uh, do all that, knowing the time we're living in. But I'm an IP, OB coordinator, um, living overseas, living in North America. I've been part of this movement uh, for some years now. And uh, I believe in Onion do vision for our people. First, first and foremost, truth is life. Uh, people don't understand the importance of truth. So without truth, you cannot have justice. And without justice, you cannot have peace. And without peace, you cannot have progress. So if you are lying, you must make on progress. That means you're not thinking logically, because there's a logical link between telling the truth and progressing in anything you're doing. So we have to speak the truth here. We have to defend the truth in order to have progress in what we're doing. So we're here to uncover the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Day one. Thank you so much, Marzi. Um, she does say, we are here to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. Where to? Thank you so much. And Marzi Ken, please um, take the, the stage, please. Uh, good afternoon, dear friends. I don't know if I'm coming out very clear. Loud and clear, yes, you are. Yeah, good afternoon, dear friends. We are not we are not here for sure. We are here to help Biafra understand what is necessary. When you cover lies, it means you are not honest. Truth has to be spoken, no matter who is involved. Mazen Nandakalu says, we are not getting Biafra with lies. We must get, get Biafra with truth. And you that is getting Biafra with truth, you must be whiter than white. That means any lies you discover, you must make sure you expose it. You must make sure you clean it. You must make sure you let let everything white because the kingdom which we are seeking for it is already here with us which is Biafra and we must enter into that kingdom without any honesty the kingdom we are seeking for is not going to be like Nigeria and that is why we must do everything humanly possible to cut off whatever that look like lies, and let Biafran open their mind to embrace what is truth. Thank you, Biafran, and God bless you. Thank you so much, Mazi. I can see people's questions coming in. Somebody said, um, who is this new group? Who are these please, new groups? Please, please, ignore, please, 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 just ignore that. Let's just get on with the business, please. Okay, just okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's ignore that. Uh, of course, you, 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 thank you, sir, for that. Um, Mazi Kennedy, please, just go on, please. Make an introduction so we can... Yeah, I'm um, saying. Um, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I say good evening to Bia fans and the viewers from wherever you're watching from at home. So, um, I'm Ken Chuku. So, yes. in this very um, program today, I'm here to elaborate some things that are already holding us back in this very struggle. So, because um, there are some 
citizens and the landowners of Biafra that people don't know, that are just on the ground watching and supporting this very struggle. So, but when things are going wrong, we have to set the record straight. So this is why we are here, Biafrans. Don't see it as if we are here to be against anything. Rather, we stand by the truth. And uh, as long as we stand by the truth, then we must allow that truth to prevail. So this is the reason why we are here today. So I thank you, everybody. And I hope this program will be an eyes opener to our people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Mazi. Um, please, um, Prince, um, please, of course, the people, um, of course, are familiar with you on this um, platform. So please go on. Uh, can I begin by um, giving all glory to God, to Kukike, Abiyama, that gave us all the air that we were able to breathe in order to take part in today's activities. Because um, God is the beginning of everything we do in life. And he's also the ending of everything we do in life. So I just wanted to acknowledge God, the source of our life, the source of our being. And I want to say all glory, all honor, all adoration, all worship, all praise be unto his name today and forevermore in Yeshua's name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Please, uh, my, um, my brief um, introductory speech uh, will come in this manner. I want every Biafran, I want my fellow Biafrans, brothers and sisters, to take a new definition of insanity today. Because in Biafra, we're going to be introducing new concepts, ideologies, theories, because our world had already been derailed. We know that. So we're going to have plenty of teachers that will help our children coming up to be an embodiment of ideas, ideas through which money is made. Today, people are killing themselves. Everything you see going wrong, would you find will link to money, but people forget that ideas make money. So today I want to give you a new definition of insanity. And that is that if anybody, if any Biafran, if any human being on this earth believes thinks or assumes that any one individual or group of individuals will bring or give them Biafra, then that is uh, the insanity we are talking about. That is the true insanity. So I want you to mark that down and understand why I have said this. I'm saying this because this is what is going to happen and this is what is happening now, so you understand. Because without understanding, everybody will be. <laughs> so I want, with understanding, things become clearer. A co I want to show you what is going to happen and what is happening. A complex combination of tsunami like. You know what tsunami is. This is how Biafra is coming, okay? So you all know, so that you don't go thinking. It is any particular human being or group of individuals that will bring about Biafra. So listen attentively. A complex combination of tsunami-like factors beyond human comprehension and human control will bring about Biafra. I need you to mark these words carefully, carefully, because they are very, 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 they are driven from the spirit. This is what is going to bring Biafra. So let no genuine Biafra panic when you're seeing all that is going on right now. Don't panic because it's going to be a complex combination of tsunami-like factors beyond human comprehension nor control that will bring about Biafra in the end. All you're asked to do and or say is that which is good, bad, or ugly, depending on your persuasion, because every mortal being in this transient life is unintentionally on autopilot. That is what autopilot means. I need people to understand these things. Every human being on this planet, including Britain, including British people, including um, uh, Fulanese, 
Everybody, including me, okay. okay, the good, the bad, and the ugly, we are all going to be doing and saying whatever, depending on our respective persuasions right. and these combinations that we call autopilot. I'm about to round off, please. And this will come all to the glory of Chukwokike and the blessing of humanity. And listen now this last um, paragraph and then I will submit, I will yield. It has to be, and it must seem physically and humanly impossible for all glory to be reserved and accorded to only Chukwokike Biyama. If it seemed or it is easy in the human eye that man would steal this glory through the delivery of Biafra. It had to be so complex so that we can glorify God. So because the God we are talking about is a jealous God that would not allow his glory to be stolen. Because if any man were to make this possible, if any group of individuals were to make this possible, they will steal the glory of God. That is why it's going to take a multitude of complexity of factors that will seem it will be beyond human comprehension so that uh, the Afra will be here. We are here. I don't care whether people think we are the good, the good, the bad, or the ugly. We are coming from a particular persuasion. And in the end, God would know. It is only God that knows and understands the intentions of man. But I can assure you that we are all on autopilot and the destination is Biafra. I thank you. Three, thank you so much. Five, thank you so much. Um, I don't three, know if you please just make a brief eight, introduction seven, and then we can um, seven, go on and seven, we'll go straight to eight, what we have come to do today. Eight, please go on. Oh. Yes, can you hear us? Yes, I Madam, can. You, yeah, please uh, make a brief introduction and then we'll go straight to what you have come to do. Thank you so much, Kalechi. Um, thank you so much, Kalechi, for having me here. Greetings to the house. Greetings to our prince. Greetings to all of you who are here. Mas Dozier and our brother Kalechi and also our brother, brother of my brother. I so I appreciate you all. Uh, Kalechi, why is he a queen? Check your yeah. gadgets and your it's system. Maybe but maybe we are hearing you clearly. It's echoing, but we're hearing you clearly. Off, off, off other things. Maybe if you have a device that's playing it out, just put it off or something. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, hello, fellow Biafrans, all you genuine Biafrans that are fighting for our restoration, fighting for our freedom, and supporting for us you know, our freedom. Um, I am not here to attack anybody. I am not here to, you know, uh, to say one or two. I'm only here just to clarify a little thing. Please, can you all respect yourself and, and listen to what we have to say? You cannot just identify somebody without listening to the person, and that is not who we are. We are not here to cause any harm. We are not here to do anything. You know anything to anybody. If you can just behave yourself and be mature enough to listen to us. Because Mars in the country, we should all fight collectively to get our freedom. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dear friends, we are ready now to talk. Um, what we came here to do is to um, give clarifications to issues. We didn't come here to attack anybody. We have come to actually give clarifications. And we're going to set um, let me set the pace in one minute. Um, we have, um, of course, most of you know about um, the meet issue of meetings and meetings and all of that. And um, there are some factors that um, actually that led to the meetings and all of that. Of course, when you have issues in a nation, the stakeholders would have to sit together to discuss. And that is what we have come to do. And um, we have so many things that have been happening, of course, um, which of Simon comes to the air and try to give a perspective to it. But I want everyone who is here to be mature enough and listen, I told you last time when we talked, I said, just watch and listen. The most important thing you can do for yourself in life and to prove how reasonable you are and how intelligent you are is to listen and have the patience to listen and listen. 
that is when we can prove that you're intelligent. That's when you can prove that you have what it takes to actually do what you um, can do as a human being to resolve matters. We are dedicated to resolving every matter. And that's why we're, we're calling Simon for a meeting. Um, Marzi Kennedy, please, I want to start with you. I want you to give us um, a perspective to how we got here. Yeah, Marzi Kennedy, are you there? Seems you are muted. Let me, let me, okay. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Yes. Okay. We are here not as a different group, not as a new group. We are autopilot. And autopilot did not come from any of us here. It first emanated from Mazinam de Kalo. And that is where we picked from. So we didn't come here to create new group. We are autopilot. And you know, anything that is in auto movement, you can't hold it until it gets to the destination. And our destination is Biafra. We are here to let Biafra know that things are not going well. Things are not going well. What you have been hearing is not the right thing. We want you to understand so that tomorrow you will not blame us that all of us are scammers or that uh, we don't know what we are doing. That we saw the truth, we refuse to speak out. That is why we are here. Thank you. I will uh, make some clarifications because we have other speakers in the house, in the studio. So we'll make further clarification as we move on. Thank you. You're mute. You're mute. We can't hear you. You can't hear me. I'm not mute. I'm not no, mute. No, no, no. I'm not talking about yeah, of, course. of course, it was. Um, yeah, it was muted. Sorry. Um, I actually wanted you to make your clarification. You know, the clarifications from your own perspective, because I didn't want to ask a specific question. I want us to just go straight and analyze how and what has um, transpired so far and what is happening from our perspective to um, begin from wh where you can begin from and from what you know and how much you know about what has really been happening and how much um, um, of things have gone bad. And of course, why we decided to wade in based on the fact that we are talking about our nation and our nation is our responsibility and all of that and why we have been holding meetings and why we have been calling Simon to come into meetings and the reasons why he has not responded and the reasons why um, he had to come all out when we call the meeting, he has to go all out there to actually create an impression. So I want you to come in from your own perspective, from your own point of um, 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 you know, reasoning, what and how and what has been happening or what is going on, please. You know, dear friends, uh, the truth must be said. Yes. Mazen Dandekalo publicly stated that nobody should contact our ESN on ground. Correct. Nobody except those who have specific assignment on that area. Yes. And we we are not contacting them. But these are brothers who have been mandated to be staying in the forest to safeguard our forests started contacting those they are not meant to be contacting. That is to say, the people who are supposed to be taking care of them are not taking care of them. So they try to voice out, to reach out to people who can get to our spokesperson to know what is the situation of things. And the complaint becomes so much that we couldn't bear it. We have to send message across to Simon for us to, the stakeholders, sit down and discuss and know why these complaints are coming to people who are not supposed to receive this complaint. That was why we summoned Simon to come, so that we sit down inside without outside, coming outside. But Simon refused and said, we are children. Who, who are we? Who is Kelechi to call him for a meeting? And Kelechi is a Biafran. He is not a Muslim. He's not a Fulani. Sorry. He's not a Fulani, he's a, he's a Biafran. So Kelechi has right to 
inform our brother what he heard or what he saw going wrong. And Simon did not respond. Simon did not come for that meeting yesterday, being 13th, March 2023. This is why we are coming open to let Biafra know what is going on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, as you can, um, can you give us a perspective to, to it? Um, you know, we have been looking at the issue of ESM. Before Mazi Chidoze comes in, before, um, of course, we go further. And um, um, before Mazi Chidoze, sorry, comes for, um, comes in, Mazi Ken, um, we have the issue of um, so much, so many issues on ground. We have the issue of finance. We have the issue of the um, ESM and the complaints that we have been receiving from the from ground, you know, uh, we can tell that um, mo uh, we receive lots of complaints, and these are genuine freedom fighters um, that uh, Mazin Namdekano himself instituted and gave the mandate of um, functioning effectively as commanders, you know, um, under ESN. And of course, um, lots of them began to come, and we discovered that um, during the election, um, the new election period, they, uh, they were all complaining because they couldn't even defend themselves. And in fact, with all the bragging we were making on social media, saying that um, there will be no election and all of that, um, these people were being bombarded by the Nigerian military, but yet they had no in, in, um, tools because they um, actually were, um, you know, when you prompt um, um, it, um, the enemy to feel that you have everything and then they go attack your defense, you know, and then you find out that your men are being killed. Please, um, Mazi Ken, can you come from your perspective? Because I'm going to still have time to um, say things clearly so that their friends can understand um, from the perspective I am coming. So please go on. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, good afternoon from my location. And uh, I'm thanking everybody for being here today. I hope my voice is coming out loud. Sure. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Yeah, so um, this issue of ESN we are talking about today is not um, the first time we start having this problem. When our leader, Onyendu, was still there, um, somebody who were also having contact with um, the ESN before he gave that very declaration that nobody should have contact with the ESN on the ground. But some of us here have family members that are there. And when something is going wrong, I don't see anything wrong when somebody calls his brother to tell him how he feels. And uh, if we should bring it up to the leader or to the people in charge that something is going wrong, I don't see the reason why there can't be a clarification for us to be able to solve whatever the problem is. So in the issue, I'm just um, somebody who is um, standing by the side watching what is going on because um, everybody will not do the same thing at the same time. So I have my own reasons why I just um, stay by to watch and lead our people to decide, advise our people, tell them where the truth is and where they should stand and where they shouldn't. So in the issue of Simon Epa and the things I had, there are things that broke my heart. The major reason is as you all have said, or those that, that, that have spoken already, that um, things went wrong and he was called in order. So these things should be resolved in-house. And later, he came out projecting the names of some people online. These are things that the autopilot that we are all in today, we are all against when the other party was doing it before. This is just why I decided to come in, because it's wrong. If there is anything going on about the gallant man at home, and there is a problem, and the people around him working with him called him that something is wrong, he's supposed to give them a listening ear. So I found it very, very wrong that he went online, start calling names of people, start um, expelling people. So nobody can expel anyone from this very race, from this very struggle that we are into. We are all Biafrans. This is what I want our people to understand. And nobody knows who will make this come true, this very um, um, restoration we are into, or this very freedom we are, we are seeking. Nobody knows who will let it make, uh, come true. We all are in the struggle, and we all are giving our best, trying to make it right so we can get our freedom. So what I just right. want to say is that I will yield my sword for now. Then the more information I get, then I will know more things to tell our people. And I will also give them opportunity for them to ask questions so we can enlighten them. Thank you very All much. Right.
All right. And now I want us to go into details because we have to let the people know what is happening. And critically, we have to go into details and give facts. Facts. These are the things we have to point out here. So that, um, of course, after now, as soon as I'm through, I'm still going to have a personal broadcast where I'm going to analyze everything the way they have happened to Biafrans because I want Biafrans to understand what has been happening and um, so that we don't end up becoming um, ridiculed and, and blackmailed and all of that because when we um, is asked for a meeting we're asking to resolve things that have been happening to our people our finance our men on ground our security and all of that but um of course the, these things come all out there and we have to give clarification so i want us to go into details so that we don't um, just um so that the people would know what has actually been happening to the men on ground who the men on ground are whether they are genuine or not genuine and how they have been financed, whether they finance, what is happening to our finance, and all of that. We're going to talk about all these things. I have my personal explanation to these things and evidences to prove to be our friends. So how our men are being threatened, and I have voice messages and all of that we can play out here if you want us to play them, and how our men are being threatened, and of course, um, um, so many things. So Mazi Chidozia, um, please, can you go on? Take it from here, please. Okay. Uh, Mazi Ndewo. Um... I'm here to talk about uh, very fundamental issues concerning any civilization. Ours, in this case, we are not going to be different from others. So the way we organize has been problematic for a long time. We have issues of issues of account accountability and transparency. We have not taken it. And uh, somehow, people, when somebody trying to be leader is held accountable and is being called to account, he says, Who are you to call me to account? Uh, not knowing that uh, people calling you to account actually make you a better leader, it actually right. makes things run better, it, it makes you sit up. So, uh, this is the step towards a civilized nation. If Biafra doesn't learn this lesson right now, we are just going to another one for one zoo to the next zoo. This the is zoo. the places we live in, the Western nations we live in, this is what they live and die by. You know, it's not personal. Everybody must be held to account. As Ronald Reagan used to say, he repeated after the KGB, you trust, but you verify. You don't just go trusting any leader. If you are trusting any leader, you are encouraging him to, to become a dictator. You are empowering him to become a dictator. So holding ourselves accountable is the bedrock of any organization. It's been a problem in IPOB from the start. Uh -huh. That's why we've been going through crisis after crisis. And each time we go through it, we don't learn. We don't learn because we are proud people individually. We are successful and very high achievers so we think nobody else has anything to teach us we are very unteachable so since we don't learn how other groups do it because the wheel has already been invented so there's no need to reinvent it just do what they are doing and you get the success they're getting every time we come together as a group uh, no progress so in this case this thing is all about holding those and, uh, that running our affairs accountable, telling them to be transparent. They owe that, especially when it comes to issues of fundraising and the use of that fund. That's the main problem here. That's the beginning of the problem. And uh, also another saying that uh, unaccountable power is the same thing as absolute power because only you know the information. Nobody tells you. Nobody asks you. So only you know. So that knowledge is power. So it's it's an accountable power. It becomes absolute power. And what does absolute power do to anybody? It corrupts absolutely. So that's where we're headed. It doesn't matter if it was those who were in charge before. It doesn't matter if it was. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, Simon right now. He doesn't allow himself to be. If he doesn't allow himself to be held accountable in issues of fundraising and in issues of, of, of working on behalf of an organization and on behalf of a people. He will be corrupted. It's just the way it is. Uh, anybody else that wants to come and try and do the same thing will fall into the same pit. So we are coming here to state these things 
these are all uh, words of wisdom and words of truth. I told this to him in the beginning. He was not interested, and neither was Madame Azuka interested. Uh, they had the ulterior motives, and that has been a year coming. And we are here, we are where we are right now. That's not a mystery. That lack of accountability basically led to this. I would have been in a position to say, hey, I was there, you showed me this, you showed me that, I'll be defending if I had something. But if, if you didn't tell me anything, and if you left me in the dark, and left others in the dark that you are working with, uh, in, in the name of one thing or the other. Uh, nobody can come to you, and the, the questions arise. So calling them to give account to the support their friends are giving to our gallant volunteers on ground is apt. It's what is supposed to be done. Not doing that, we have set them up for failure. So the blame goes two ways. It goes to those who didn't allow themselves to be held accountable, that are in power right now, that are power drunk calling names and jumping around thinking their uh, their God's gift to man. It's, it's go, it goes to them, but it also goes to us for allowing that to happen. Nobody is bigger than this movement. This is a movement that is greater than all of us. So Simon and Azuka must be held to account because it's leading them into uncharted waters. That's what we want to stop. The Afrans themselves must stop being gullible must stop being gullible people. You're giving somebody tools, you're supporting somebody out of the fact that you like them, or out of the fact that you, uh, you think they're popular. Uh, I just give you, I trust you, I trust you. You trust without verification, uh, you have yourself to blame. Them. So what we are giving you t today is information. So you will not say you are not told. Information to hold people accountable. And uh, this is what this thing is all about. I've been on ground, I've been complaining. Uh, what is due them has not been coming to them. Uh, there's a lot uh, that has gone wrong, not only in them not getting, because first of all, there has to be, you have to know how much it is you're raising. When you do wanted us to do accounting every two weeks, none has been done since the beginning. First of all, we know we hold ourselves accountable here. They hold themselves accountable there. But uh, because none of this has done, has been done, um, we are where we are. It's now led to the point that the funds are now being used as a tool against our gallant men. And this is where we cannot continue remaining silent. Trying to blackmail them. Onyendu was very aggressive and jealous about his guarding of our volunteers. He said they are volunteers, and the volunteers are the hardest. Uh, you cannot defeat a volunteer army. There's something special about people that volunteer. But when you come and you, instead of you to support, you come and take advantage. You didn't want us involved in he didn't want uh, diasporans in particular involved directly because he knew we would bring the money the wrong way. That people will come and want to take charge. They will come and want to call themselves. They say, call me your guy, call me this, call me that. This is what has happened here. Instead of... These people already have a leader. He was already giving them standing orders to protect our land and protect our bushes. And uh, somebody else is coming and saying, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm, your, I'm, your, I'm, the, I'm the one that's paying the piper now. I'm going to dictate the tools. Uh, that is wrong. He did not want us to come that way. He wanted us, that's the reason why he wanted a central command. Unfortunately, the central command collapsed. And that has nothing to do with Simon. Uh, we have to say that. It was those that, uh, under DOS, that this central command co co collapsed. They must answer. Because I've been calling for this panel for a long time. Everybody must answer. Those in charge in the beginning that opened the floor for what is going now, they have a case to answer to be Biafran people and to posterity. But coming in after that, Simon and Azuka, after, first of all, after Nelly 
and Oyibo than now. Simon and Azoka. The thing is that you told Biafrans, I'm raising money in the name of ESN. That's all you have to say. That makes you responsible. That makes you liable. Because those that gave you money, gave you money based on that. And then you turn around and use it to control, to use it to blackmail, and now to use it to threaten. And that's crossing the line. To threaten the same volunteers that you are meant to be supporting. So we are here to talk about accountability and transparency. We are here to tell Mazieba to get a hold of yourself and stand down. Stand down from any threats to our men on ground. This is not your organization. You are not the boss of anything. They are Biafrans who made... These are people, the, the, the best of Biafrans. Because they, they are in a world of so I think that's a problem with his a world of very okay. In the world in the world of people they have they've risen up to volunteer. We owe them our support unconditional. So um threatening them, we cannot take that like any threats. All these moves that because when you ended, you, know, you knew when we came in and when you decide to use money and tell somebody that is hungry that you're his boss, two may accept, the third one may not accept. Already you split them, so he knew we were going to come and factionalize them, and uh, that's why he wanted us to stay away. But unfortunately, we were, we're where we are, those in charge did not want to learn. This is what the, you call him on you do, but you don't listen to what he says. You say you're his disciple, but you do what you want. So the call him to order. The threats must be rescinded. The threats must be rescinded. And you'll be, you're being put on notice publicly. Those that you have threatened, those that you have, you're dividing them against themselves. Uh, willingly or unwittingly, it's what is happening. You have to take responsibility for that. And we are putting you on notice. This is our last line of defense. For those of us that know what we are going through in, the, in this zoo, people have been educated enough. Onyendo has spoken enough. Those who don't understand what is happening in that zoo, uh, maybe it's time for you to go and listen to the old tapes. But all right, Mazen. the threats, the threats against our gallant men must be rescinded. That's right. They will. Thank you so much, Mazi. I appreciate you for that. Please um, let nobody call. I want you to listen because you need to get facts before you call in. So please, we don't need you to call in now. Just wait for the facts before you call in. And before I call in Prince and to make submission, um, I want um, Madam Ifi to make um, um, submission. Madam Ifi, why are we here? And basically, we know we are here because of our gallant men. And what is happening that has made us to decide to call Simon for a meeting amongst our gallant men? Please talk to us the way you feel and how you, how you want to give us this information. Please let us know what's going on. Thank you so much, Kaleshi, for that. Um, they say that a leader must have a listening ears to those he leads. If you're a leader, you don't have a listening ears, you need to kill us. Your leadership needs to kill us. And a leader as well must also accept criticism. That makes you to be a good leader. Nobody, me, um, I have been Mazin and the colonel, you know, following him until he was abducted. Then Simon came up, but I was following Simon as well before Mazi was abducted. All I wanted is for things to be done right from the beginning. I was part of Umada from the beginning. We all agreed that there should be accountability and transparency. We agreed on that. That along the line, something happened. That's something that happened, supposed not to happen. 
and that's resulted to where we are now. We are now having doubts. Where is our money going? Because if this thing was done right from the beginning, we won't be here. When we started asking this question, if they listen to us and do what they're supposed to do by not telling us the same story that I had when you, Madam Oyibo said the same, that Mazin Landekanu said, we are not supposed to know what is happening. That is what Azoka told us. When I asked her the question, why is it that, as we agreed, that few of the Umar does, because I live in Ireland, I will not have as I will not I will, I will not be a signatory to account in America. It's not done. So those that say because I am not I am not in account, that's why I'm giving I am making um, this. It's not true. I live in Ireland, I'm not living in America. So I cannot be a signatory there. But I should have, we should have access. That is agreement. And, this, and the Azuka added her husband to this account. I want to ask Biafra, we are in the world, you know, any organization, a leader added his family or her family to account of organization. Where is it done? They make these things to start like this. We asked this question. We wanted things to be done right. But Azuka, bent on not doing it right. We tried, we call in the media. We tried everything. Let's sort this thing issue out. Mazin Simon was a good man, I would say. Because he told us, he said, what about if you give you this and this, will you be happy? I said, I did not even want to. My, uh, to know the name on the account. All we wanted is our incoming fundraising and outgoing so that we know what is happening. But the worst thing that I, we started with, because they are the one, Azuka gave us this, make us to be where we are today. He should have done the right thing if she knows that she has nothing hidden. If she, has, if she knows there's nothing hidden, she should have done the right thing. Then the thing that happened again is when the men started complaining, when they started saying they are not getting feeding money, you make us to start thinking what we are thinking. When they started saying there's no money, there's no money, there's no money, what do you expect people to think? What do you expect us to think? We started thinking, why will Azuka husband be in the account? Be uh, a treasurer to this account. Oh, something is going on somewhere. You cost it. And, and, and we said, okay, if these men are complaining, and we, I know that these men, they are with us. If anybody say that these men are criminal, this is not a right word to use for our gallant men that are suffering for us, that are in the bushes, fighting, defending the land, going hungry. It's the sun, the moon, everything, rainy season. This is not the right word to use. Even if you don't want to, you can't use such a word and say that these men are not criminal. They are not criminals. They have criminals, which we know. But these are the ESN camps that are hungry. And they are complaining. They are making their complaint. And they call and call and call. And I'm so weighed out. I'm weighed out of their call. I'm a mother. I feel their pain. How can people left their home and stay in the bushes tr trying to protect the land? Only give them feeding money. Only give them money to, for them to do this. It's, it's not be given. And then, and I'm, <laughs> you don't know what I have spent or what I've done for this struggle. I am not crying for anybody to say I want to be a leader. God forbid. All I wanted is for things to be done right. Because they gave, they gave us this benefit of doubt. So the meeting was called. Because this complaint is getting out of my head. And, and so many people started receiving this complaint. And they called for this meeting. When this meeting was called, they said that we need Mazi Simon to come. By then, he has already removed me. And I didn't, it didn't bother me. I still said I would still be supporting him. Even if he has mentioned my name, 
how many times didn't bother me. But saying that these men are this, they are criminal. This is not right for us to say such a word. These men are hungry. They need food. They need things to protect the land. And you, they are not getting it. And they are complaining. Then what we should have done, set up a panel, which I have, I, I have already uh, you know, suggested it for long. Set up a panel. Let us know. Those people that you say you have given money, those people that you say they are this, let us see if they are who they are. Let them come in and then say their own mind. And then let us hear from them. If this, if you are right, we know. If they are right, we know. We can put things in order. That is what the, what the meeting is meant for. It's never for to attack Simon. It's never at, at all. So my people, you guys, please stop all this you guys, you guys are saying. If you are the one in that bush, if you are the one that your son is there, if you are the one that your brother is there, if you are the one that your husband is there and they are protecting the land and they have no feeding money, how will you feel? That is the way I felt, that these people, they should be looked after. And we call for this meeting so that something should be done about it. That is all. So what we did, is all it right. wrong? What we did, all is right. it wrong? I'm asking that question. All right. Thank you so much for that analysis, for that time. Um, pr Prince, please, I don't know if um, you are there. Because I would have, I would have wanted to say some things before, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, Prince. I don't know if you, if I should allow you to speak first before I, because um, I wanted to I'm, say some things critically. Very um, quickly, I, I'm please. told I wanted to enter from my, um, from my, from my phone because I'm about to begin a journey right now. Okay. Uh, but it's telling me that the room is full, no more seats. Is it possible I can exit from here and then create a room that you can get me in so I can begin my journey and speak to you as I go? But the problem is it's going to be interrupted whilst I'm driving. You're already in. You're already here. I am in, I am in but I'm going to walk away from my desktop because I'm here. Okay, my okay. then you, you connect with the other and then I remove you. I remove so, this one. So, then you so, connect so with I the can other. go out from here now and then because yes. I'm connecting with the other and it says retry. Okay, I'm out. Okay, from here. okay, okay. Okay, so, okay. Now, before he comes in, I would want to lay a background here because I want us to really focus on this thing very clearly. Now, um, I want dear friends to understand that we have come here with clean hands and we have come here with the mind to make sure that things work well, especially sustaining the legacy of Mazi Namkano. Please, and Mazi Ken, and Mazi Chidozie, and Mazi Kennedy, and Prince also, please, I want us to just give me a little time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes to just say this, you know, so that I'll be able to lay a very, very good That's background right. and the reason why we have to do what we're doing today. Now, um, when Mazi Namkano was kidnapped, of course, we all know what happened and all of that. Pierre France, please listen very carefully so that those of you who Oh, you are just saying whatever you want to say. You can get a perspective to this. Now, when he was kidnapped, we all know what has happened. Simon was being attacked and all of that, and we were all supporting and trying to push and to make sure because because Mazin Namdekanu said he has to um, stay in his place until he's back, and so we had to, of course, obey Mazin Namdekanu begin to push. Now, I remember when the issue of Nelly and Co I'm sorry, um, Madam Oibo and all of that began. We now, um, of course, we now look for how this account must be retrieved, and then we have to get a new account. And I remember that the woman that before they const were constituted, they agreed that they were going to make sure the reason why they allowed they, they decided to join Madame Ifi, uh, Maureen, and other people decided to join the new woman that, that was being set is because there was an agreement that they were going to have transparency, that means every month. They're going to have um, records, I mean, a report of what is happening with the finances. And of course, we were told in the media team also that they will be having, we'll be having a joint session every month so that we can have the, 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 the account and the reports of these financial details given to us regularly. And this happened between May and June, of course. And um, that was how the account was instituted. But when the account was instituted, because I was following the woman that very well, and I was, you know, we were talking in the media team, of course. Um, and then I, I, I asked the question. We had a meeting before that account was instituted. I told Simon in that meeting, that was June last year or May or so. And I said, and I laid a very perfect, you know, system structure. I said, for this to happen with Madame Oibo, 
if we don't change the tactics or if we it is a shame that it's happened because it is a shame that a whole nation cannot have a structure that can know about the details of its accounts how can one woman just hijack funds and everything just goes and we are here we're talking we are supposed to set a standard so this time around if we are going to bring a new account then we must set a standard i told them i said the same people who are signatories are not going to be the same people who are going to be disbursing funds. They can release, they can sign up for funds. They can send funds to another department that disburses the funds. Now, the department that is supposed to receive the uh, the details of the materials, the welfare or whatever tool that is needed, will be a different department for welfare and for tools. And then those who are procuring these things will be a different people from those who are taking doing the auditing and all of that. I, I actually spelled out beyond even what I'm explaining now. I gave details all of all of these things to Simon. He was there in that meeting. And he said, yes, it's a very good one that, in fact, he knows that's what he wants to do and all of that. They will make sure that. I said, don't concentrate power on one person. I said it critically then. Don't concentrate power on one person. If you do this, you are going to have another situation of Madame Oibo and all of that. You must make sure that you, you know, diffuse power. And make sure that you don't make somebody so powerful because Nelly issue came up that time and all of that. That was what I said. And that meeting, went. so my mind was that everything was fine. And of course, we're just coming. And that was the criteria. The reason why I decided to put my mind into this, supporting Simon and all of you can bear me witness. I was supporting and talking about him and I was promoting everything. I never bothered to know what is going on. I just believed that he came genuinely and he was going to do these things genuinely, according to how we have discussed. Now, in July, of course, after May, June, July, August, I began, I began to ask questions in the media team. In fact, everybody in the media team was asking, but we said we're going to have accountability. They are not giving us reports. Um, they are not giving us reports. Um, Gaddafi was asking. Everybody there, including 247 that came today to run his mouth to say that I'm a criminal, that they gave me money. This is giving, this one is giving me money and that is giving I'll come to his, his matter because I know all those people, they are just two-faced and they just talk anyhow. Anyways, I, he will prove to me who gave me money and how, what money I've collected. So now, um, we, we now begin to ask questions. Now, Umwada too, Madam Ifi and Co were telling Azuka. And of course, let me tell you something. When the account was open, I later discovered that when the account was open, she never gave them, they never knew what was happening. They just discovered that there was an account suddenly. And she came to announce to them that there's an account. Now, in that account, her husband is a signatory. She is presiding over it. She disburses funds. She takes the details and all of that. She does everything. No other person gets any detail of how much has been left and how much goes out, how much comes in. She only had um, uh, ally who is an um, or so and all of that. And they were all doing these things together. And when they brought, they, when they started complaining there, they brought the issue to us in the autopilot media. We were angry. We said, why? These women, what you agreed was that these funds will definitely be made open to every woman. If you are trusting yourself, then you should be able to trust the women who come, who came around you and who are bringing people to contribute. And they are also contributing the monies. So you must make sure that you trust everybody as you trust yourself. You can't say that in a nation, it's just like in, in, in the zoo, for instance, Nigeria, the president says he trusts himself. And he doesn't trust any other person. The other people should not, and they shouldn't know anything about the monies. Or you say that um, um, one of the governors in the southeast. Now, some of you are talking about. Um, um, okay, let me forget about that. Now, you said one of the governors is saying to the people, "We're not going to give you a report, um, auditor general or the auditor of the of the state. Don't come and audit. We already have information about the account. We know what is in the account. Nobody should ask questions. It doesn't make sense. This is a nation. This is not an organization. This is not a family meeting. So now, she opened the account. And I believe I can confirm until she comes to prove me otherwise that that account belonged to the husband. She opened the account. There was no IPO. Of course, if you want to open a corporate account, you must use a company. Now, if there, if it's a company account, then it simply means that there, is going to be, there are going to be documents that proves that this is a company. But that account was opened on a personal basis. Now, she opened that account. She also secretly opened another account in Nigeria, which is her personal account run by one um, lady there. I don't, I've forgotten any whether Chichi or so. And all of that, yes. Me now, too. these accounts were running simultaneously. It was later the women now discovered that there is a particular account like that. She never told them initially. It was later they discovered. And when they brought these issues to me, I went to the media team. I said, come. We agreed that there should be a regular um, joint session where we are going to be analyzing and looking at issues of finances. Why? Because if I am coming to show my face on media, talking about money and talking about transparency and saying that this time around we are sincere, we are whiter and whiter than snow, then I must know what is happening. Because if, if anything happens in the end and 
it will be that we all are part of the criminality. So this is what we have to avoid. We decide to hold meetings. And of course, in the meeting session, we have some people, I know them, they will record it as we are discussing, they will try, you know, put the speaker to somebody else. Of course, I don't care. I tell them in the meeting, I am not, it is not a secret court. I am not hiding anything. If you call the people to call Simon, call Azuka, I will tell them the same thing in their face. So I'm not, it is not about me. It's about transparency and seeing that we don't fail again. So now, in about in August or so, they were having these issues with the women and all of that. They decided to now come to the autopilot media to report the issue because they were complaining and complaining about these issues. And I said to them, I said, of course, when they came into the meeting, I said to them that we are going to resolve this thing, but we must go with the plan. We must find, fact find, and we must bring Azuka to come and tell us how come you had a meeting, an agreement with women that you are going to, um, you know, um, um, you're going to make everything transparent. And suddenly you now started, they now join you. And now you alone can trust yourself alone to give accounts of everything or to um, for expenditure, expenses. Uh, okay, expenditure and expenses are the same thing. Uh, and of course, everything, you alone will know the details, but every other woman is not qualified because you don't trust them. How come in a nation, you alone can be trusted, other people cannot be trusted? I started asking questions. That is how the issue began. That is how, you know, they started looking for my location. Well, that is another story for another day, you know. That's how they started wanting to know where I am, sending people like Gaddafi to trace me where I am, you know, to know where I am, and of course, try to all of that. So now, now this thing started. Now, now when we came to the autopilot media, when we tried to resolve these things, when Madame Ifi and, and Maureen and all of that brought these issues to us, we now decided that we are going to hold a meeting with, uh, we now decided that Pastor Livingstone was going to talk to Azuka. And then um, after we have told them to go, we now decided that um, um, Akarawa was going to go to Madame Ifi and co discuss with them so that we can bring the two teams to, uh, and the two parties together and then discuss and go have a way forward. But suddenly that was the end. The next thing we heard was sack. These ones have been sacked and sacked. I was very uncomfortable with that. I told them in autopilot. I, I was the only one standing, telling them there that what is happening is not right. But everybody was, of course, what they do is um, they will talk and talk and talk. So, But when Azuka comes, they will be hailing her. So there was a hypocrisy in the whole of the autopilot media. And I knew that these guys are not serious. I knew, but I was just working and anyways. And they can come and defend what I'm saying and see if I'm not. They have recordings. Gaddafi always record people when he's discussing with people and other people to record. Now, when these things got to the climax, suddenly... I started receiving calls from men on ground. These are men that Simon by himself was introduced to this man. He didn't, he doesn't even know details of um, the, the, um, the ESN. He doesn't know any of them. When he came in, he didn't know any of them. It is these same people that were telling him about themselves and, and this same Madame Ifi and co that were showing him to the ESN. Now, these people who showed you to the ESN, you that just came into the system, you don't even know any of these ESN members. You are now coming to say that these people are fake and criminals. Where does that happen? Now, let me tell you what happened in that regard. Let me tell you what, if you are, if you have a sincere heart and you have a God-given heart, you listen to my voice and hear the truth so that um, we can know that um, unless you don't want a nation, unless you want corruption, you want to leave Nigeria and get into a system that is worse than Nigeria, because that is what I saw. We have empowered Simon so much that he has become an emperor and he and Azuka just do whatever they want to do and all of that. And I will tell you, I will warn you, tomorrow you will, you will go back to this, my voice message, if you don't listen to me today, because you guys are always, you know, let me not say that. So now let's go. Let's go. Now, when this thing was getting worse, I started receiving, of course, some of these men on ground have re have friends and relationship. You don't say who contact men on ground or don't contact men on ground. Do you know if I have a relationship with any of them before, before you, before you ever came in? You don't know because you, they, if they are my friends, they will talk to me. Now, let me tell you, some of them called me, were calling me. Some of them were calling Pastor Livingstone. And some of and let me bring this to your notice. Every action you see Pastor Livingstone take and everything he came to speak, anytime he came to speak about them, he didn't take that decision on his own. He took that decision on, under the auspices of the think tank, which Simon is also a part of the of the WhatsApp platform where his name is there. He comes to the meetings. We, he, we came there to tell us to do the constitution. He came there to tell us to do the code of conduct. I'm sorry, we gave the code of conduct. He came out there to tell us to prepare. Okay, we decided to prepare the anthem and all of that and presented to him. He was so happy. He came on social media to tell you people that these things are ready. Who did them? The think tank group. So when issues now come of transparency, you begin to brand that think tank a group. Then something is wrong. That is why I want reasonable bear friends to think critically here because you must be critical. Mazinam kind of told us that if I go down on Biafra, if you are close to me, shoot me down. 
So nobody can be spared. There's no sacred cow in this thing. And that's why you see me talking confidently here right now. And I'm setting this pace because I see that um, I need to set this pace before we continue this discussion. Now, when these things were, these complaints were coming, some of them were calling Madame Ify, just up there, and of course, they started even going into groups. Now, let me tell you something. ESN was now decentralized and rubbish. There was no structure. The, the, um, it was divided. You face this one. You face this one. There was no central command um, um, you know, unit where there should, just like was how Mazin Namikano did it. You know why? Because corruption. Anytime you see that they, there's a diffusion in the context of, of um, we, are, we are professionals who have worked on boards. We have operated, so we know all of this stuff. We came into this thing prepared. We came with the mind of professionalism, with the intelligence God has given to us, and the ability to checkmate everything that comes. So I didn't come here to just um, come and play all these games and um, let's move forward. No, if you don't are not ready for your freedom, you better sit down. If you are not ready for your freedom, you better stay in Nigeria. Because if you get Biafra in this kind of mindset, you will mess yourself up and it will be worse than Nigeria. I'm telling you, Biafrans, and tomorrow you are going to play my voice, you will beg, you will say, oh, I wish. But I'm talking to you right now. Those of you who are just talking about gossips and all of that. Now, listen. Now, when these men were complaining and complaining, I, I, just, I just kept bothered. In fact, many of them were complaining to Juliet. Many of them were complaining to Victor. Sometimes Victor will get to, through to me. I want to get to Simon. Please, how do I get to Simon? And all of that. And so many things were happening. So many complaints. None of you. We didn't come to the public to tell you anything. Mm -mm. Because we know that we need to resolve things internally. You don't need to know what is happening internally. You, we don't need to come publicly to you to tell you anything because it's unnecessary. It's like destroying the whole thing we are doing and all of that. And now, of course, someone comes to air to tell us that 150 days going and all of that. We started counting. These men were not ready. Nothing on ground. Did you see any enforcement of that stuff? What happened after? Let me ask you guys questions. What happened after the 150 days? Did anything happen? Reason. Think, okay. think very well. Nothing happened. So that means the men on ground, who do you want to bring? Do you want to go and bring a, 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 a Finland military to come and enforce it at home or lockdown? No, it is the men on ground. And none of them, only few ones that they have been that have been chosen to fund their personal militia that were functioning. Every other person was not functioning. And one success, who is not even a commander, started presiding over commanders. People who are professionals, who have been in this thing with Mazin Namikano, somebody who is just because he's from the village of Simon, now begins to command men. Now, what do you, what are you trying to, what are you trying to put there? In a, in a military formation, you bring somebody who is not a commander, and because of relationship and all of that, you bring him to begin to command people. You have rubbished the whole process. So now this brought division and all of that. There are so many things I'm going to say along that line. Now, let me tell you something. Of course, I my intention is that things should go on fine and fine. So what I try to do is try to, you know, where, sometimes they even say, well, why am I behaving like this? When Mother Miffy tells me some stuff and uh, Maureen tells me some stuff, they'll say, uh, I'll tell them, please calm down. Please. Maybe Simon has his strategy. Simon has what he's doing. Just allow him. Simon knows that I am his henchman. You know, if you don't know what henchman mean, that means a strong supporter. Simon knows that. I support him. I, most of the writings he put on his, his platform as a spokesperson from the office of the spokesperson, some of them, I wrote them personally to him. I mm. wrote them to him. He tells me to write them. I write them. When he gives mm. me an order, I do it. So why would I turn against him if there is no reason? I will turn against you if you begin to go against the precepts and the principles. That is me. I am not corrupt and I swear it. If I'm doing anything here because of selfish end, may I not gain anything in this life. May I die, Richard. May my children and me die young and may my generations to come die young. If I, am a, if I came here for money or for anything that is um, for personal self. If that is what I came for, I speak this. But if that is not what I came for, these people who are sabotaging, it will go to them. Now, let me continue. Now, along the line, we had, um, of course, we got into January. We now had a situation. Suddenly, of course, I am in the in the um, advisory board. Simon put me there. He put me also in the, um, you know, in the, think, um, sorry, um, the um, Alliance Oduduwa and Biafra, you know. And, of course, I'm also in the, I, I think, about five committees. Of course, I can remember now, including the think tank, which he knows and is very aware of. Now, can I explain but, something here? Uh, can I come in, please? Sorry. Because okay, um, please, please, somebody please. is saying is saying to me, because I've been hearing them saying that, and why are you, why are they contacting you? I just want them to understand that from the beginning, the Umar does, we are taking charge of welfare of these men. From the beginning, I have been there with them. From the beginning, you know, they have been contacted. We have been in privilege to be contacting to know 
their welfare. So please, this this okay. thing that you okay. guys are talking about. Okay. So let me put it around off. Yes, thank you. Just leave them. They, they we have people who naturally they can't raise it. They have to just they don't they can't process information. No matter what you say, they'll keep saying what they are going to say until their eyes clear. They will now say they will now see, you now see how they are going to turn against that situation. So let's leave it. So when this issue began, of course, on the on the auspices under the auspices of the advisory board. Um, the, the people who form this advisory board, uh, I'm sorry, the people who are uh, members of this advisory board constitute um, um, Pastor Victor, Adim, Ngozi, Orabweze, um, Ruby, Nadi, um, um, Oge, Oge Chiku, Manu Oge Chiku, and then um, we have um, some other people and all of that. Now, as, as um, of course, in that place, they, they, they do what they can do and all of that. Now, they came to a critical situation about currency. Now, suddenly we heard that there's a G5 carved out from that um, um, team that was um, that um, advisory board. And this G5 decided now to go and have a secret meeting to decide on the currency. And in that decision, they made a decision that Simon, Azuka, um, um, Ongozi, Oge, and some other people, they will, um, will have their faces on the currency, <clears throat> on the currency. Now, when that decision was taken, um, Pastor Victor now called me, said, um, 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 Kelechi, um, we have decided on the issue of the currency, and we want you to give us um, a graphic design on that, blah, 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 blah. Um, but um, these are the faces of the people who have decided to have their faces alongside Mazin Namikano, um, 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 Philip F. Young, and um, Ojuku. We have these other people. He now called out the names, and she, he now called out the names to me. I said, what? I said, you guys want to destroy everything we have built on putting your faces on the currency. What about um, um, this guy who set himself ablaze, you know, um, for Biafra? What about um, those people who have died, people like Opigo and all those people who have died? What about the woman who started the about women riot, riots in 1929? What about these people who have died? These Czech nations, the, the currency of nations, if you see faces there, they are faces of people who have gone but are well known, who have done something great. Why would you people begin to put your faces there? Pastor Victor told me that, and well, they have decided that they are not going to put any face of old people. They want to put faces of these people here because they have sacrificed, they have given the ultimate sacrifice. I now ask him a question. If he, if he wants to say I'm lying, let him come on social media to tell me i'm lying and i asked him a question i said what ultimate sacrifice have um azuka paid he said, don't i see how azuka have gathered umada and i said in my mind is it three women or four women that he has gathered that is how he has gathered umada and i said okay and what ultimate sacrifice have ngozi paid he said see how ngozi is working what can we do if ngozi is not working like this i, I shook my head i said lord have mercy now i said what other sacrifice have okay done he said ah okay is contributing so much don't i see how okay is giving money i said my uh, hello sir this thing will not work. We want to destroy everything we want to do, and we're going to do now. And if we want to destroy it, if we go this way, everything will go down and everything will be destroyed. And he said, well, they have decided, they have decided, on, but anyways, um, he's going to go back and propose, um, you know, and tell them about the, the names I talked about, but they have decided. I said, good, no problems. So when he dropped, I decided to call um, Pastor Livingstone, but he was busy on call. So I called Prince. I said, sir, look at um, what's going on. This is what I'm hearing. These people want to destroy what you are doing and all of that. How can they propose their faces? You no, know white currency. Currency is the face of the economy of any nation. If you want to make a decision on currency, you have to make wider consultations. You don't just come and stand up and one group of people who just and all of that. And when I talked with them and all of that, um, Pastor Livingstone started calling in. I now brought him into the call. I told him and, 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 and one other um, woman, uh, mama there, and we came in and I was telling them what they said. What? This is very dangerous that we have to get. Um, if they're not concerned, would they say we should get um, Simon mm -hmm. uh, to be part of the meeting? They were very concerned. They said we have to get someone into this thing so that we can tell him so that we don't get ourselves to crash before these people go public and start making some stuff. That is how I sent a message to Simon. And told him, and somehow, somehow, he came to the meeting. We had a meeting. We discussed. We now told him what um, is on ground. When we told him what's on ground, he got angry with me. He said, "Why would I bring another issue from another committee to this committee?" And I said, "Sir, I call him sir. Of course, I'm older than him now, far older than him now. Don't say you should respect people for God's sake." I call him. I call him sir every moment. Every statement I make, I call him sir because I respect him as a leader, at least as a leader, in place of Mazen Namikano. And then I said to him, I said, sir, this agreement was not done under the auspices of the, BF, um, 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 the advisory board. There is a group that came out of the advisory board that called themselves G5. They made the decisions. They only called me 
to tell give me information about it and what they want to do and want me to make a design. And I told them it's wrong. That, he was even shocked that there was something called G5. He didn't even know there was something called G5. So you can imagine the impunity. He himself didn't know there was G5. I was informing him for the first time. And after that, we now talked. He said, okay, um, he's going to talk to them. And I think we are going to be having a meeting on the advisory board the next day, which is some, Monday or so. This meeting happened on a Sunday, on, on the 8th or so, Sunday. And then the next day, we were supposed to have an advisory board meeting. We had the meeting. And the first thing Pastor Victor said in that meeting was, um, all these gossips, that means referring to me that I'm gossiping for God's sake. Do you know the meaning of gossip? Check your dictionary and find the meaning of gossip. For the fact that people bring up issues that are very critical to and fundamental to a particular um, system does not mean they are gossiping. Don't bring sentiments into matters for God's sake. Let's be reasonable. Now, he, he now made a, um, 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 that statement there, that gossip and all of that. I just laughed. I just said laughing. I didn't make any I didn't make any statement there because I don't need to. And they said all oh, they have going to say, and he was defending why the faces must be there. And all of them were defending their faces on there. And then later, Simon came into the meeting. They, we talked about other things and all of that. In fact, in that meeting, one of them was asking Simon, where is the stronghold of, of stronghold of ESN? And I was, I wanted to even send me a private message. Please don't respond to this because I expect him to, to, to be careful about this. How can somebody who wants your interest ask what, what is his business with the stronghold of ESN? Where does ESN have their strongest hold? This guy was saying this thing in that meeting. Where is the stronghold of ESN? Okay, his name is Okay. He was saying, where is the stronghold of ESN? And Simon replied him and told him about it, which I cannot say here now. And I was shocked. I was sure, even when we brought him to the meeting the next day, I said, Why is this, Simon, this thing was wrong for you to have responded. He said, I am actually, he did, what he said was not the real thing. He just covered. Uh, for God's sake, there was, you tell him, please keep this short. Anyways, let's go on. Let's go on. Please, nobody should call me. Please, nobody should call me. I'm, I'm, I have to, it's a okay. serious business. Can you let somebody else talk? Now, let me, let me finish this matter. Now, this is where the whole problem started. Now, mm. as soon as I was able to say, Simon, about this matter of the currency, suddenly, the next day, they removed my name from the advisory board. Who removed my name? Um, Emmanuel Maduabom, he's the chairman of the board, but he removed my name. I sent him a message. I said, sir, why did you remove my name from the, um, the board? He said, um, he didn't respond. I called him. When I called him, he said um, that um, um, and they didn't tell me when they put my name, so they shouldn't tell me when they removed the name. And I, I just I just chuckled inside of me and I said, but now I know that I am here. Of course, before you remove me, I should be in the meeting where you make decisions. And then you, I didn't want to go into argument with him and all of that. And he said to me, well, he's going to go back. And my talk, my take was this. So you didn't know the reason why I was removed. You only removed me. And now you want to go back to find out why I was removed. I called Simon there that day, but he was in the program. So I didn't, um, that was when he was sick. Do you know that when Simon was sick, I was the one calling. I called Pastor Livingstone. I called some other people. I said, we need to set up a prayer team so that we, we will pray for Simon. And it was um, Pastor Livingstone. When I called Pastor Livingstone, he said, God, Lord, have mercy. We are already in the same. He was thinking of that same thing. We now constituted a, a prayer team. We started praying for him. <laughs> if we hated him, are we going to do that? We were praying for Simon when he was sick. And we're praying, even when on the advisory board stuff, I tell him, please, you don't need to broadcast now. Please stay away from broadcast. We were advising him and giving all of these details. Now, sorry, please, my panel, because I need to set this thing straight so that people will understand. Then we can go on from there. In the next 10 minutes or five minutes, I'll be through. Now, later, I saw my um, Ngozi. Now, let me tell you something. Now, along the line, after that meeting with Simon, the next day, I got an intel about Ngozi or Abweze sponsoring Fulani's. Remember, Ngozi comes to my platform. When she comes, she will support Fulani. She will tell you how Fulani is good. And we, sometimes you hear her talking about Nigeria, calling all of us Nigerians. And we keep correcting her on this platform that we are not Nigerians. She will keep insisting we are Nigerians. And then one day she came and was talking about um, 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 Islam, saying Islam is a religion of peace, that she consulted four imams, and they told her that Islam is a religion of peace. And we confronted her in that program. So I've been having my doubt about her because, of course, from what people say and what people do, you have the ability. God looks in the heart. We look on the outward appearance. So it is what you dish to us that we actually use as information to, to, to research on you. So along the line, I got an information that she, she owns a WhatsApp group that she opened in 2001 February or so. 2021 February, which supports and sponsor um, politicians in the North. In that platform, they were congratulating her. I have all the evidences. So if any day I have time to give evidences, I will show you guys. They were congratulating her. She was sponsoring some Fulani's House of Representatives and all of that in this election. Now, we were saying no election. She was sponsoring election. Now, we now call someone. We say, we now sent a message to him that there's a fire on the mountain. We now called him for a meeting the next day again. And told him, see what is happening now. Ngozi, 
blah, blah, blah. He now excused it. He said, um, she's just there to gather information. And I was wondering, how is she gathering information? This group was opened in 2021. And it is her organization registered. I mean, opened in 2021, February, before she joined the movement around November or so last year or October. I can't remember. Now, if she's there as an, as an intelligence person receiving information, how is she sponsoring Fulani's for election? How is she so that they are thank they will give her thanks? They were thanking her. Oh, thank you so much for this. She was funding them in that place. Rather than Mazi Simon to take action on Ngozi, the next thing, Ngozi, the person who has been accused, was the one who removed my name from the Odudua Biafra Alliance WhatsApp platform. The person who has been accused, a Biafra accusing somebody, say you are a Nigerian agent. I was the one removed from that platform. Suddenly I was removed. I was shocked. I sent a message to her. I said, well, I don't know who gave you the audacity to remove me from this group. I have my tech, I, 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 everything down. I have my everything. I, I screenshot everything and keep. I said, I don't know who gave you the order, audacity to remove me from this group, but we shall see about it. We shall know about it. Now, all of these were happening. Rather than Simon to come, in, when we saw that this was dangerous, we now decided under the auspices of the think tank group, we now wrote a letter. That letter, we, we, we told Simon how he was doing good officially and told him, please, we want you to take action. We're advising you on this area. We are think tank now. What is, what is think tank? Think tank are those who give you ideas. Advisory are those who should be elderly people somewhere who should be um, advising you on ideas people prefer. So which is more important to you at least? You get the facts from the think tank and then you go to the advisory and say, what do you think about this? And this should be elders. But yet you constituted people who are... Who don't even I, I they get they don't I, I don't know uh, they say some of them are they have served in board um, stuff I don't know I don't let me not go there anyways I don't want to discredit anybody now listen when we now finish that stuff when we now finish that stuff now Ngozi removed me from that stuff and all of that and now I was I became the one who is the accused now remember Prince always say that we are going to protect whistleblowers we know why we were saying that because when people bring intel and you turn against those people who bring intel, you are building a nation of, of disaster. So that was where the problem started. They removed my name from everything. That was not the reason why we sent the letter. We sent the letter and suddenly you people came, you heard it, he came all out and read and started reading the letter. Now along the line, people were still complaining. The ESN, the, the 150 days was going to an end and nobody was ready for anything. And then we were asking ourselves questions. How, this 150, how are we going to enforce it? Because we know our people, are not going to go they, you have to enforce some stuff for them to for them to we discover you all saw it how it went everything went down now when everything because we were waiting for those things to go down so that we can resolve these things with our men that was when we now sat down under the auspices of the think tank because nobody can ban things you can't ban any group you don't have the power you don't have the power the same way they were banning um dos was banning um simon we were telling simon we we're telling them that they cannot ban simon that Simon is a bona fide IPOB. The same way we are telling him that he doesn't have the power to ban anybody. The same way we are defending him with ESN. The same way we are telling him now that he doesn't have the power. He's just a spokesperson. We are under the auspice of the autopilot. Everybody have the right to do and do what they can do to bring Biafra. That is what Mazen Amdekanu said. So for the fact we made you spokesperson doesn't mean that we made you the sole um, decision maker and you come and stamp anything and you work on people. Now, the issue of um, the finance were coming up and all of that, the men on ground were not receiving weapons. What do you expect us to do? We have to question mm. the source of the funds. That is the natural thing to do. Once men are not receiving funds, what you're going to do is, now, what is happening to the monies? Some people are saying that, um, how much have you contributed? Let me tell those idiots who are saying that thing. The governor from your state, how much have you given him that you're asking him to be, to be transparent or tell him to build road for you? Let me ask mm. you that question and think about that question. With you that is saying that um how much have you contributed ask i'm ask, asking you how much have mm. you given the governor in that your state and you're telling him to be transparent or how much did you give buhari that you say he's a wicked man he's not transparent tell us how much you gave him then we will now come to this matter now everybody is a stakeholder in biafra we decided to go on that path now when this is what happened we now decided sent a message now we now call, we now discover that of course by the first letter we sent to simon we discovered that when we send him another letter he's not going to respond I now suggested that there's one elder which, who has spoken with Simon Epa very well, over 70. He respects him. And of course, he has spoken with Simon several times on, on some stuff and ideas. He's also part of the think tank. I now suggested that we should consult him. Maybe someone will listen to him and come to a meeting. 
because our men are complaining. So we need them to complain in presence of someone. We gathered all of them. I'm talking about our gallant men, people who work with Mazin Amikano. So those of you who are saying that um, uh, whether they are fake, Simon does not even have the power to know whether they are fake or real. He doesn't, he doesn't have even have meeting with them. He doesn't even know. In IPOB that will tell you those who are real and fake. Simon was just shown. Simon was shown. He doesn't know any of them. He was just mm -hmm. brought to, he was just shown them. So he, he coming to the issue of um, how do you know real or fake? He is the one we should tell the one that is real or who is fake. He doesn't have what it takes. He and Azuka don't have what it takes to tell us who is real or fake. So we now decide to call uh, Mr. Herbert. We told him, please write to Simon for us. He said, no, no, he doesn't want. We begged him. We said, please. He now decided to write to Simon. Sent him on um, WhatsApp. So he didn't. He came back. He said the thing is not going. It seems the man has blocked me because when he wrote that first letter, the man called him when he came out to read that first letter. When we, when we wrote the first letter, he came out to read. The man called him and told him that um, this 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 and corrected him some things. That was how the day he blocked the man. Now so the, when I told the man, okay, let's use his email. <laughs> I can write through his email. The man now wrote to him email. He didn't respond until today. That was I think the last whether the last day of February or so. I now beg, I now beg Pastor Livingston and say, Pastor Livingston, I know he doesn't listen to you. Please, you are the leader of this group. Write the, the group think tank, and which Simon is also part of. He's also there in the in the WhatsApp group. Sometimes we'll bring him into the meeting. So if he's saying that um, which group, he is part of the group. So that means he's if he's banning it, he's banning himself. That's what it means. So now um we now decided that um um I now beg, I say Pastor Livingstone, which everybody now agreed. Pastor Livingstone writes to Simon. Invite him for a meeting. We wrote, of, of course, all of you have seen the letter. We held a meeting, of course. We have to hold the meeting. We have to hold the meeting. When Simon was being sacked and, and, and persecuted by the DOS, he was consulting. He was holding meetings. Did he take permission from DOS? Did he take permission from um, um, Chike Dozian before he constituted meetings? So why would you tell us we don't have right to hold meetings in our nation? We don't have right to hold meetings in our own nation? Uh, something's wrong with some of you. Simon was invited. We were, we were, he was holding meetings, holding secret meetings with people based on the issue of DOS. Did he take permission from Chico Dozian? But we gave him that courtesy and respect. We said, come for a meeting. Rather, now, where do you see that, for God's sake, a leader, hearing that people are holding meetings? You know that that meeting, you were called into it. You know, all you do is rush to the social media. Now, doesn't that tell reasonable people that there is something fishy here? Because he knows what we want to talk about. What is happening to the phones? Because these men are complaining. This man, come and listen to the men who are commanders, real commanders, real gallant men. Come and listen to them. If we call the names here, you people know that they are serious. They are, they are real. We don't want to call any name here. That was how he refused to come for the meeting. And I came here two days or three days ago to tell you people that you should beg him to come for the next meeting. Rather than come for the next meeting, he now, you know, what they do is that they try to, you know, as soon as we call that meeting, the next thing that happened is that the next day, that was when he decided to call the same people he said they are criminals. He called them for meeting. So if you say they are criminals, why did you call them for meeting? Because we called them for meeting the other day. We called them for meeting last week, Wednesday. You decided to call all of, them, all of them for meeting on Thursday. You began to threaten one of them because you saw he was very vocal. You were threatening him. Tell, I have the audio here. I can play it to you all. You can hear it. He was threatening him that if he doesn't... The man was telling him that, see, sir, the mission you gave us to fulfill, two of our men died and two are in hospital. Please, we need to do something and contact the family of these ones who died. Just that same day, that same day, that, that same day, those guys died. He was giving this report because he called me in that day, and two were in the hospital. He said, These two have died, and two are dead, and two are in the hospital. What do we do? Please, we need something to do about it. Rather than Simon respond to the people who are dead and the people who are in the hospital, he, he ignored that talk. He was asking the guy to return his tools to, to another set of people. He was asking, he didn't talk about the dead, he didn't mention anything, and the guy was saying, um, sir, I, it's difficult, I can't do that. If the guy was a criminal and not real, why did they give them the tools? He was insisting that stuff, that he was the one who gave him the order, he's giving him the order now, he's the one who bought the tools for him a few weeks ago or two weeks ago. So if he's a criminal, he's coming out to tell you people that they're criminals, why is he now talking to the person secretly that he should return tools that he gave to him? If the person is a criminal, how come the person, he's having a meeting with the person and others too? How come? How, why didn't he hold meeting? All this why we've been sending him private. People are texting him. There's need for meeting. ESN is in trouble. They are killing themselves. Some of them are going to criminality. Come, saw this thing. They were saying he will ignore. Victor will send message. He will ignore. Everybody sent. Mirugo came out with anger. Talked. They threatened him. In fact, Azuka called um, Victor. In the presence of Victor, was calling the commander if they have gotten the location of Mirugo. What is she looking for the location of Mirugo for when Mirugo was questioning him on Facebook? 
questioning them on Facebook. Why is she looking for the location of Mirugo? Asking a particular commander who is loyal to her. In fact, there's a first message where she told the commander that if you don't tell me sorry, I'm not going to answer you. If you don't, if you don't tell me sorry, see, you guys don't know what is happening. So many things are going on. Why are you telling people to go and look for the location of Mirugo? Mirugo had to go to what and Facebook and deleted all the messages and was begging because he saw that his life was in, in, in danger. These are the people who gathered Mirugo that you know. So why were you telling him? Why were you threatening him to bring down the messages? If you don't know him, you are calling him a criminal, and you are calling, you are telling him to bring down messages. So what are you hiding? That is when we now said, okay, since Azuka's husband, husband's account is being used for ESN, that means we cannot trust it because formerly when they were when I was talking and talking, nobody wanted to listen. They were saying that at least Simon knows about the account. Simon says he knows about the account, so let's leave it. In the end, we shall give record um, account. We said, okay, no, no problem. But when we saw that our men was were down. We decided now to now call for a meeting. She refused to come. Now, after we had the meeting, the next day he called them and then started threatening that guy that if he doesn't submit the weapon, that he should be ready for what is coming. That is a threat. And since then, his loyalists have been calling men, the other men who he knows are loyal and genuine. He wants truth. They have been calling them, threatening them, and there are plans to eliminate them. There are plans to eliminate them. In fact, Gaddafi himself was trying to set up one of our sister, you know, in Aba, set her up. And she, the same way he wanted to set me up, the same way, the same strategy he was using on that lady. The lady told me, this is what Gaddafi is doing. And I came, I sent a message around. I said, tell Gaddafi if anything happens to this, our sister, she's a strong commander. If anything happens to this girl, you will know what preference will do to you. You think all of you think you are criminals. We will tell you that people who are righteous can also be mad because we have come with our madness in a righteous manner. Christ was a righteous, righteous madman when he entered the temple and destroyed the, the men who were selling. It was righteous anger. We have the right to express. So if you think that you are only violent, we have um, people who are violent and take it by force by the spirit. So we have not come here for nonsense. I have not come here to have all of you who are saying, hey, we don't know you are a betrayer. We don't know you are this. I am not here to please you. I'm here to do the right thing. And in the nearest future, you will know what I did. And history will bear me witness that what I'm doing today is actually what I'm supposed to do, which I God called me into this movement to do. So that was how the whole thing started. We called him for the second meeting. He didn't come. Rather than come for the second meeting, he was he has he had his ally, the, the lady called Judith, who started screenshotting and forwarding to him. And then he come out as a as a as a superhuman. I know what is happening everywhere. Forget it. We know as you have your men everywhere, we have your, our men everywhere too. So we know what is happening. How did we get messages of your meeting? You don't know we have your our men everywhere too. So the same way you think you are too much in the spirit, we are also too much in the spirit. I walk with the spirit of God. And I can say it here. And I've told that lady, she was showing it, showing us one shrine. I told her, call my name in that your shrine. If not, if you will not go down, call my name in that shrine. You think you guys can threaten anybody anyhow? This is our nation. And we have come to rescue our nation. Biafra is our nation. Nobody is so important, more important than the nation. That is why Mazin Namdekanu said, if I go away out of the movement, if I derail, deal with me, calm me down. And then we'll talk less of this spokesperson or whoever. Let Azuka come out, give us account. How can your husband be? For a nation, for God's sake, I wish to be it. a nation, a woman's husband is the signatory. She is the one who is disbursing. She's the one who is rec receiving the records. She's the one alone that can be trusted. No other person, in a, in, even in a family meeting, you don't do that, not to talk about a nation. Maybe you people don't understand that Biafra is a nation yet. Maybe you think it's just an organization. Let's move on, let's move on, let's go on. I don't know what is wrong with you people, Biafrans. Sometimes you allow your emotion to take over your reasoning faculty and you don't say the truth to yourself. If you really, really represent Mazin Namdekanu, you will not be here talking rubbish. You will stand on the truth. And I will stand for the truth like me. Go away from my platform. Decide to unsubscribe. That's your business. I'm not subscribing. I'm not doing this to get money from YouTube. I'm doing this for the truth. So that's the truth. So thank you so much, Prince. Please, I don't. I hope I have taken much time. So please, please take it up from there. Thank you so much. Um, Kalechi, I will say welcome and well done. Um, the truth shines like a light. Um, let me begin by saying a little bit about myself. I. If you check me very well, you know I advocate for humanity. And all along, I know my whole emphasis is on getting those who say they are white, because I know nobody is white. I have tried to get them from whoever they call themselves, whether they are Pope, whether they are whatever. 
because I don't, I don't follow people. Because for me, I only follow Christ. I listen to people. And um, I test every spirit. And that's what I ask people to do to me. Nobody should follow me. I'm not worthy for any man to follow. I want people to listen to me. And uh, if what I say resonates with them, fair enough. And I want people to constantly test my spirit. Um, and that, that is what I believe every genuine Biafran has as a given. And um, can I then move on to say that um, even though Mazin Nandekano said to us that we should listen to Simon Eba and uh, share his broadcast and all the rest, he wasn't the only one that um, Sim, uh, that Mazin Nandekano said we should listen and share their videos. But because I test people's spirit, I tested and tested and tested. I was also testing the spirit of DOS. I do mine in my own way. And um, in the end, one of the things that um, Simon convinced me with was when he was doing a proper analysis of uh, DOS. And um, he was saying that um, these are career agitators. Just please give me one moment. Right. All right. Please, please go on. We can hear you. I think you're still here. Okay. Yes, you're on. Please. Um, I, I am. I am back. All right. I hope you can hear me very well. Can you? Yes. Yes, we can. One, wonderful. So, um, when Simon spoke about the DOS being career made up of many career agitators and um, gave evidence because um, I liked the way he analyzed things and he gives evidence to what he means. And then he told us, he told us that um, he, he himself has a law firm and in that he has, um, he has um, um, uh, partners working in his, in his law, firm. law firm and um, that um, Biafrans are also giving him super chat and et cetera, that he wasn't, that all the people in this movement right now are not career agitators. Uh, that really gladdened my heart. Now, I'm now going to go and um, say one or two things about how I somehow got involved, because I advocate for humanity. Um, it was only through divine providence that um, I became a part of the Constitution Drafting Committee for Biafra. Just divine providence, because I'm not one to, I don't believe in all these who has, I don't believe in all, oh, uh, I don't have time for that. And I've, I know that when I was approached in that direction, because I was told, oh, Simon has set up this and um, he wants us to do this. I, I told them, look, I am, I, I'm retired. I, I have a plan for a little thing I want to contribute to Biafra when Biafra comes. And what I have in store is primarily for our children, the kindergarten, the primary school, because I believed in orientation, because I believe that the, if we can get the mindset of the people right, these children, Biafra will now bring about those things that the world is desperate for. I know from psychological perspective that um, adults, like you're seeing some of the comments here, 
Um, they are so funny that um, I, I don't want to waste time on their, them and I don't want people to concentrate on these um, statements coming from uh, commentators who have been so damaged because of poor academic education as well as terrible parental um, guidance, uh, people who have been just damaged. And this is one of the reasons that Biafra is coming because God wants to change something. So um, I remember very much that um, Simon joined us a few times when we were drafting that constitution. And um, I remember also when he asked us to draft a letter to United Nations and we all contributed and made sure that that letter was sent. Um, the real problem came when we had that particular information about um, the currency. And I remember that when Simon joined us to discuss that, his initial thing was to attack and wanted to in fact, he was, from his body language, he had already made up his mind to deal with Kelechi. As far as he was concerned, um, Kelechi was um, moving from one group to the other, and uh, you know all those that we were able to. Uh, um, I think it was Pastor Livingston who actually called him to order. Um, following that meeting, I remember saying to him, "Look." And of course, he, he actually was very happy in the end with what we were doing. And he told us categorically that he didn't know about the currency. Thing. In fact, he didn't know about the existence of G5 or whatever, where that particular uh, idea of the currency came about. And I remember him, uh, in fact, I said to him, look, we wouldn't want to be bothering you. We don't want to be well because we know. I told him, look, I don't want to be you. I feel for you. I know. I even cracked a little bit of joke. I said, look, some of these women that are running around you, I was once a young man, and I know that uh, some women will be all over you, either because you're a young man, you're good looking. They want to. So I, I, we just cracked that joke. But it's also, that joke is also serious. Why it is serious is because... I know very well that um, the time that God told Adam, do not eat from this forbidden fruit, God knew and Adam knew that there were going to be consequences if he deviated and ate from that tree. And I knew that when Nandekanu said to Simon, don't let the devil enter you, that there would be consequences if he allowed the devil to enter him. I'm sure that Biafrans, even if they haven't got memory, can remember that um, a particular devil entered Simon. Simon allowed himself for a particular devil in the name of, uh, is it Nelly or whatever? And I remember the bullets majority of Biafrans took to make sure that um, that devil was um, taken away from, um, from, um, from Simon. I hate to be personal, but um, at times one has to be so that people do not think that we are talking about somebody else. And I like when we are talking about someone, we are given clear evidence that people can relate to. And um, the reasons why we now called Simon was because we have seen that um, it is not only the currency issue, it was also that um, it had become clear that um, this time it's not just one devil, but three devils had entered the fray. Um, I remember saying to Simon that, look, the last thing we want to do is to be calling you all the time. Um, we want to only call you when we feel there is danger and there is a fire on the mountain. He himself said, oh, no, 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 please, no matter how small it is, no matter what it is, please do let us know. Do call me. 
do let me know. And in fact, it was on that premise that when the evidence about Ngozi Orabueza came, we had to do that letter. I told Simon categorically before he left that particular meeting that the day I suspected that the devil would come, that, that Nigeria will infiltrate this particular project was the day you went on air to say that you needed people who can donate, be friends who can donate $10,000 per month. I know my fellow beer friends, I know their psychology. I know it very well. And I know that um, the, the beer friends who are committed to this struggle will give $100, $200, $500, at most $1,000. I know that. I believe that on a regular basis. They'll be doing this because they are the committed beer friends. Anybody, any beer friend that will come with $10,000 per month you must you must put query mark because only Nigeria can fund such a thing because they want to come in and understand what you're doing. I understand that psychology. I told him and I made it clear that that was the day you opened up this thing for Nigerians to infiltrate. Um, then he told me that anybody that knows him knows that he doesn't focus on money and blah, 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 blah. Fair enough. Now, I want to move out from there to say that as soon as we wrote that letter, a very courteous letter. In fact, I was the one that posted that letter to him. I was the one that sent it to him. And I was thinking... Perhaps I didn't quite know Simon very well. I don't, of course, not perhaps. I don't know him. And I don't wish to know people. I want to judge people through their contents, what they say, what they do. I'm one that will always cross-check because I believe in the testing of one's spirit because that's what I ask people to do. Text my spirit. That's what the scripture told us to do. Christ told us that. Now, I expected that the very worst Simon would do with that letter would be to put it in the bean. That's the very worst. And at best, that he will come back to us to say, look, I received this letter. Um, this is how I intend to deal with it. What do you people have to say? And then we could say whatever. And he said, well, I'm sorry, I'm doing it my way. And we say, okay, fair enough, if that's how you want to do it, because we can't force an adult to do something that they don't want to do. I mean, that brings me very quickly to the thing I keep laughing about when I, I've had him say things like, um, give them a week and they will blah, 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 and they, go, and they will go. Let me tell Simon and the rest of beer friends that there is no Biafran genuine in this pursuit of Biafra that will ever give up or give in. Because I told you earlier when I was actually um, giving introduction that we understand what Nandekano meant when he said we are on autopilot. That simply means across the globe, the good, the bad, the ugly will work according to their persuasion and everything they do, no matter how bad, no matter how good, will bring about Biafra. I know that very well. I know that's what it means. Everybody is on autopilot. So if anybody is having uh, the daytime dream of uh, thinking that those who have committed themselves to this struggle will ever back down, back off, or whatever. The person, or the people are wasting their time. I want to reassure their friends on that. And I want to also say that in this Biafra, it is not any human being on this earth, and I think I've said it before, or a group of individuals that will give you, nobody, nobody has what it takes to give anybody this Biafra. Because God wants to take the ultimate glory. So everything will seem impossible for Biafra to come because it is God's own thing. 
And let me warn those who are in this to either focus on money or power or position or um, are now doing things that are putting the lives of their friends at risk. I say to you, may God help you because um, you are putting a huge curse on yourself and your generations. The blood of dear friends had already poured so much that God, God, God is reeling. I pray that it's not through you or I that any blood of a dear friend will be shed for, a, for our personal pursuit or what we think we are doing to bring about Biafra. Biafra is not for any individual or group of individuals to get. I want to make sure that people know that even those killers, every killer must be killed by the same death. This is the sort of message I tell people like the Pope, Archbishop of Canterbury, um, all these so-called bish uh, bishops and archbishops and clergy people and all these uh, uh, presidents and uh, whoever they call themselves. And if I can't tell that to my dear friends, then of course I have denied you of something that is very critical, something that you should be aware of. Now, There is just so much to say, but let me tell you where my worries are. Because I test spirits, and I ask people to keep testing my spirit. Simon told us that come November, before the end of November last year, that Peter B will give up his um, presidential ambition because he wasn't real in the project. I watched, November came and um, went. Peter Obi carried on. I said, okay. And then he told us that Nigeria will come crashing down. There will be no election anywhere in Biafra land. I listened to one of his most recent interviews. I don't know whether the person interviewing him because they didn't show the face of the interviewer, but they were showing the face of uh, Simon because I listen to people, I don't follow them. And I judge people based on what they say. And that interviewer asked Simon, Are you saying there will be no election? He says, oh, no way, not in Biafra territory. The guy said, how are you going to ensure that? Well, I'm saying that because of what we have on the ground. And do you know, a part of me thought, hmm, who knows what uh, Simon has on the ground? Perhaps he's going to do exactly what Nandekani do, did and surprised us all with ESN. Because ESN was a shock to everybody. So I thought, hmm, okay, let's, let's watch and see. On the election day, the only disappointment we had was um, uh, the INEC um, uh, not opening up in time and whatever. But suddenly we found that elections were holding in the whole of Biafra land. I couldn't see what Simon had on the ground. I got worried. In the same interview, that guy asked Simon, it has been alleged that you're being funded by politicians and blah, blah, blah. He says, no way, which I know is true or could be true. Let me just make sure I'm objective. So the guy asked him, so how, who is funding you? I was expecting that Simon would now reaffirm what he told Bia France earlier, that he's not a career agitator that he has a legal firm. He had partners working for him. I was expecting him to say that before he said anything else. But all I had Simon respond was, Biafra is funding me. That I felt was outrageously contradictory. 
Now, like I said to you, I'm not one, I don't get personal with people. I believe in objectivity. I like to look at life from a very clinical angle because one of the things that have damaged the Africans is this fact of um, idolatry. An average African is idolatrous because uh, he or she is either following one man of God who is a fellow limited mortal being whose physical life is not assured, let alone their spiritual life. They are following them like idiots, just like wild, uh, just like uh, a properly domesticated animal will follow the owner. They have no minds of their own. An average African worships money, forgetting that money is a byproduct of tree, cotton, and linen made by God and put underneath the control, in fact, put and placed on that total control of man, that it is through man that we recreate money from trees, cottons, and linen. But an average African places money above man, and automatically that means are placing it above God. Because of that, they just follow and follow and follow and follow and follow and follow. And they will never query anything because they are now worshipping a human being that is as faulty as themselves. And I can assure you, knowing the God we worship, God is reeling. And let me tell you now why Biafra must come. And before I do that, I want to let you know that Simon, instead of coming to us about that letter, instead of throwing that letter in the bin, all he did as a spokesman of Biafra was to go and read that letter to the world. And I would like people to go and revisit that particular broadcast because I noticed something happened to Simon right there and then. Something happened, and I'll tell you what that is. And when you go and revisit that uh, broadcast, you will see it yourselves. Not everybody can see things in the spirit. And I'm not saying I'm seeing anything in the spirit. I'm just telling you what I saw. So you can now go and prove it physically. Because in that broadcast, Simon branded everybody that wrote that letter that they are jealous, they are envious, and he denied knowing anything about us. And he now went along and mentioned the names of the signatories to that, to that letter. Do you know that that was the first broadcast, and it could well be the only broadcast, where Simon signed up off without saying, God bless Mazin and the Kano. God bless this, God bless that, God bless that, because the spirit of Biafra left him in that broadcast. I saw it. You can go and revisit that particular broadcast and you will see that that was what happened. That was the first time from my own perspective where Simon had to rush off his platform. The spirit works in a very, very interesting way. But I want to tell dear friends today that Biafra is a done deal. And it doesn't matter what any of us say or do. As far as Mazin Nandekano has paved the way and shown people the way, let me also tell you, I don't follow Mazin Nandekano. I don't follow people. I listen to them. I don't, I just listen. To, I, I only follow Yeshua. I only follow God because I know after here on earth, our spirit will live on and will march into something we don't even understand. Why I don't follow? Because you see, I, I take time to understand the meaning of every word in the dictionary. And I know what following means. 
a human being is not born to follow. A human being is born to bring their unique talent, to complement, to collaborate, to cooperate, to partner the, the other person so they can work. Yeah, we talk about leadership, but leadership are also led by people bringing their ideas and helping whoever is in leadership to ensure harmonious, harmonious progression in humanity. Whenever somebody fails to understand that, they will go crazy. And you will find that in recent times, because that spirit of Biafra has departed, all we are now hearing are things that are worse than the OS we are doing. It's all about, I sack this person, I sack that person, I sack that person. This person, you're suspended. That, um, 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 uh, publish the face of this person. Um, make sure that you know where he is. Now, and I'm watching and I'm saying, wow, but it's all good. It's all good. Like I said, the good, the bad, the ugly will do their stuff. Because what is coming is bigger than the whole world has seen. Biafra is a spirit. That spirit is linked to God. It's driven by God. And that's why Nandikanu said, not in a trillion years will anybody stop Biafra from coming. What that simply means is that not in a trillion years will any one person or group of people Tell Biafrans that you need to just make, genuine Biafrans, you need to just make your noise for one week and you are gone. Now it's impossible. Genuine Biafrans are not DOS. Genuine Biafrans cannot be stopped. You're wasting your time if that's what is in your mind. That is a mind of somebody whose spirit is devoid of Biafran spirit. So, I call on all dear friends to carry on in whatever persuasion they are in, in whatever thing you want to say or do or however you want to think. Well, I say do that and say that which is laid in your spirit because all of those will contribute to the manifestation of Biafra. I think I will rest it here for now. I thank you. So much we appreciate you mazi chidozi i don't know if you want to say something before um ken mazi ken will um say then madam if you will say well please let's just take it up from there because of time I... and i'm sorry i'm in a place now where i must go into another meeting i hope you don't mind all right please all right please right, I, I thank you so much thank you so much we appreciate Goodbye. you thank you so much and um, mazi chidozi please go on okay uh there one um Prince, uh, you spoke well. My brother, uh, Kelechi, you spoke well. All of you. Madam Ife, you spoke well. You guys have, uh, you guys have done uh, yourselves proud. Don't, don't be afraid of proud. As they, uh, they can see, uh, be afraid can see, we're just putting them on notice. These are people of integrity. And, uh, giving you we're coming here even at great risk to ourselves but to let you know and i want to put you on notice the rest is up to you this is about <clears throat> the efforts holding their leaders to account all right it's a simple exercise it's a step to where you want to go it's a step to civilization you're not a civilized people if you cannot hold your leaders the gentleman that just spoke <clears throat> talked about basically what I call psychophancy because you're like somebody because you trust them uh, and that's why you don't ask questions I've been in meetings where people say don't ask him anything don't ask him anything uh, don't 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 disturb him with questions uh, 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 I trust them you're a grown person with a university degree and all kinds of achievements in life and you want to base life and death decisions on the fact that you trust or you like somebody, that is called psychophancy. It's terrible. 
psychophancy. We reason with our emotions instead of logic. Logic tells you that if you do that, the person will take you for a ride. If you do that, you leave yourself vulnerable to be misled all the time. So you hold your leaders accountable. In the zoo, what do we do? We sing praises to uh, praise singers. Praise singers to uh, governors, praise singers to uh, whoever, our chieftains. And in, in turn, what do they do? They take our future, take our land, take everything and go sell to the ginger weed. Why? We don't hold them to account. Our neighbors, the Yoruba, hold their leaders accountable. And that way, it's more difficult for even though they are under, they are under the same pressure of the flan. But it's harder for them to do it because there are consequences when they try to sell the interest of their people. So this is a teachable moment for us. It doesn't matter who the leader is. It doesn't matter if it's Simon. Simon is a footnote. Whoever it is, whenever we organize accountability, transparency, it doesn't matter who it is. You hold your leaders to account. It's not fighting the person. It's not. It's just a system of checks and balances. Uh, this issue of psychophancy will continue to take us to where we don't want to go. Building monsters, megalomaniacs, people that you see the result. The young man started right, but as Onyendu said, he allowed the devil to get into him. I mean, he allowed himself, and then our, our people. I remember when Nelly was complaining about um, Majibuago and this and that. I I called him those names too. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's nothing wrong with Onyendu. We sang songs for him too. We the people composed music and sang songs of praises to Onyendu. It pissed off a lot of uh, Biafrans, a lot of uh, especially the, the intellectuals. It pissed them off. They you guys worship the guy. But the man took it in stride. He understood it. He never let it get to his head. He was always logical. He, he always kept himself accountable. Always kept himself hum humble. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with, uh, but even at that, you could see, see that Biafrans, we are so grateful that he gave us some revelation that many of us went above board. They praise, they praise, they praise, they praise. And that praise put off a lot, a lot of other Biafrans, a lot of others that didn't want to join the struggle. They just branded us that you guys are not intellectuals, that you guys are just following uh, following somebody and in a, like a cult. But in Namdekan, if you listen to him, he kept telling you, don't follow me. Don't uh, keep your eyes open. I submit to the superior argument. You know, he always he did his question and answer on Friday, challenging people, endlessly challenging Biafrans to a debate. Whether it's the intellectual zoo or anybody, come out, let's talk. Let's debate the issue. The Nigerians, whoever. So he wasn't running away from meetings. He was, he was gauging anybody. Come, bring your ideas. If yours are superior, I submit to it. Uh, so these are the lessons we should learn going forward. Uh, Mazi Simon, uh, he can learn the lesson himself. Pride goes before a fall. If you remain proud, if you remain unteachable, if you remain stubborn, uh, I didn't make that, uh, it's, these are words of wisdom. I didn't make it up. Pride goes before a fall. I'm asking you to... Think about what got you into the struggle. Try to remember the beginning. Remember what motivated you. You have to humble yourself. Uh, they say don't, uh, what a man doesn't, uh, you should never allow the, the crowd to cook for you. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. Understand that this is a cause bigger than you. It's a cause bigger than all of us. It's bigger than Mazen Namdekan. It's bigger than Odumei Kujuku. So, you should humble yourself accordingly. When you do that, your sense will come back to you. Think about it logically.
nothing more. Nobody is here as your enemy. We got people trying to destroy our people. So we're not here trying to fight anybody. We don't need any more. We don't need any more fights. Certainly not internally. But you must be held to account. You must be held to anybody that, any one of us. Our people should know this. And those that aspire to leadership should know this. If we do not hold your leader to account and he becomes a monster tomorrow, it's your fault. So Biafran should take blame for what is happening right now. I said that before. It's a teachable moment for all of us. So the issues, the needful must be done. I think people can still get off their high horses, understand that this cost is bigger than them, and walk this thing back. Walk it back. Rescind the threats. Don't create fight amongst our own gallant men. We do not need that. Only Ndu warned about it. That's why he jealously protected them from people in the diaspora. Don't come in here and use the, 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 the resources the wrong way. Don't come here and try and be a imbecile. You bring it. He expected us to bring the resources as part of our own sacrifice. Because the people are already on ground and have sacrificed everything. They sacrificed their life. Did you go into charge? We're supposed to bring our, our resources to support as part of our own sacrifice and not to pay, to control, uh, to blackmail, and now to attack. Even with the money, even if you bring 100 million, you're still nowhere close to the person that sacrificed his, his, his life. Because how, what, what, what price do you put on a, a man's life? So it should give us the right perspective. It should give us the right humility. We should go back to what Onyendu said, his words. People should use that as a guide. A lot of these things he prepared us for. So even without, without him being on the, with the DSS trying to cut off communication, genuine communication with, with, with the people, we have almost 12 years worth of teachings. And as the one prophet has said, Ayinla uh, uh, said about how people uh, become pregnant with this ideology. Uh, so there's nothing they can do about it. Uh, those of us that listened, those of us that learned, uh, those of us that have gotten the revelation. So the threats on ground must must be rescinded. Biafrans must hold people accountable. If you are giving somebody something and closing your eyes and going to sleep, oh, I'll just put uh, the, the money in the plate oh, and God will take care of the rest and make sure that hold that person accountable. It's not, just, it's not God's job to hold the person accountable. This is not your pastor in church. You're giving somebody something. Make sure it gets to where it's going. Make sure you know how it's being used. The stewardship of the money matters. So if you're going to do this or psycho fancy bits, oh, we just support him, we just support him because we like him and he's cool. Two, nine, you can continue, three, but four, you'll have yourself to blame. Five, five, you have yourself four, to blame. Nine, four, so I hope you can learn from this, so this period. Much. And we can move forward. Yes. They won. Thank you so much, Marzi. Accountability is very, very important. That is why we're here, not to castigate anybody, but to make sure the right thing is done because we all seek for freedom. I'm tired of being a refugee. I want to go back to my nation and we have to do the right thing. Thank you so much. And Marzi Ken, Chuku, please. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, I send my greetings to everybody that have spoken today. They have all um, laid their emphasis on the issue why we are here today. And uh, we are here to talk to the Biafrans. And uh, do you also use the opportunity to call the spokesperson of Biafra at this moment to order? 
So we are not against anybody. Rather, the information we got before we start putting up this very committee together to make sure we resolve issues, that we destroy this very humble family that Onyendu have started for decades to build. And no matter who it goes to his hand, that person shouldn't take it as a, as a private um, company or as a family um, issue. Rather, it is, an, it is a nation we are talking about here. So what I want to say is that I know a lot of people will be writing in your platform, saying different sort of things about what we are doing today. But if Biafran should listen and analyze what we are saying today as a human with knowledge, they will know that we are not here to castigate anybody. So if somebody is lying, you have to find out the truth. Because if two people are having problems, two of them can never be, two of them can be right, but two of them can never be wrong. So one may be wrong and one may be right. So in this very issue we are talking about, a lot of things have gone wrong, which the, the, the people that are around Simon are working with him tried to resolve this very issue in-house. Before it comes outside today, it was something that transpired to read that makes it to come outside. So what I want to say is that when we watch into the speech and the broadcast that Simon is making at this moment, I shared tears when our brother Prince said something which I didn't even notice. I'm a good follower of Mazi Simon Epper. But what our prince said, I didn't even notice it. I shed tears when he said it. And it's exactly what happened to Simon about that. What Mazin Nandekanu said, Onyendu, has actually happened. The spirit of God has left him. And the devil has come into him. Because I watched his program after he posted a meeting that was held, that somebody screenshot and sent to him, when he was saying that, he was invited to the meeting. They said he was invited. This is how he put it. They said he was invited. But he couldn't access his email. This time I was so curious and said, if you are a spokesperson of Biafra and you are working for the Biafrans, you will tell the Biafrans that you got a message or you were invited to a meeting for a, a great problem like this that can destabilize the whole work you as the spokesperson have been doing since the adoption of Onyendu. You know what is going on can disrupt everything you have been doing. But you said you couldn't access your email. So how do Mazi, you get Mazi, information? Maziken, sorry for interrupting yeah. you there. In fact, Mr. Emmanuel Madwabum confirmed to Madam Ifi that Simon got the email. And that okay. letter was not sent to was not sent to Emmanuel Madwabum, it was sent to Simon. How come that Emmanuel Madhubu knew about the letter? Okay, thank you very much. So this is this is just um, why I said I will bring out this issue because when you are following somebody, you know I'm someone who never follows someone. I always say it, I don't follow somebody at the at his at his back, as our prince always say. This was always my word. I don't follow nobody, but I follow your words, what you say, your behavior, what you do. So when he said this, I was so curious and say, if he's our spokesperson, how come he cannot access his email to know he was invited to a meeting? This just shows you that he's running away from his responsibilities. So let's put that by the side. We all should know today that the devil have come over Simon Epper. It may be the people around him. It may be from his own spirit that, he, that is guiding him. Nobody know where the devil comes from, because I'm not among the Umwada, I'm not among his um, his um, his kakus or whatsoever. But I'm just a Biafran who sees what is happening that is strong and try to come in and to assist to make sure we make something decent for the Biafrans. Because if this should escalate, it will lead to a very great disaster. 
I don't believe that Onyendu will be happy where he is if he hear anything that is happening today. So I'm using this opportunity to say, Simon, you were given time to come meet this very panel, so this thing should be resolved. And I'm still using this opportunity today to beg this very panel that you still have the opportunity to, to step back and come to this panel so this issue will be resolved. Transparency is what we are talking about here. The life of people are at stake. Onyendu said nobody should have contact with the gallant men on the ground. And when Simon Epa took over this very struggle after the adoption of Onyendu, most of the people around him today are the people who led him to this gallant man. And there are some he don't know that we know. Maybe he don't even know the gallant men that even assist Onyendu when they came to kill him. He don't know them. Maybe he don't know them and he has never met them. There are some of them I have spoken with who vowed they will never come into autopilot. But he don't know that there are some of us that are just sitting back that know some things that he don't know. Because he always used this word, what you don't know is bigger than you. There is something somebody also know that you don't know. That's right. So what we are trying to say here is this calling of names online is what caught my attention. And if he continues this way, that will be the end of him. Because this was what we fought against when the DOS was doing this thing. And he is just automatically driving back to where the DOS were before. So, and we can't continue like this. Another thing I want to tell our Biafran people is, this respect, calling people names, Igwe, Ichie, and all those things, and the major boom, can major boom cause and all those things. Yes, this is where you people, this is where you people cause problems. That's this right. is where you people give people the power they don't, they don't possess. This is where you people make people an emperor. So we come out today to explain to you what, to you people what is going on. What you need to do is go back home, go to your bed, go to a room alone and reason on your own. Analyze what we are talking about. Nobody is here to destroy this struggle. Onyendu was telling us that he named one, 100 men. Simon Eber came and said 1,000 men is in him. If 1,000 men is in him, billions of men are outside right. that are more than him, that are more than Onyendu, that are more than anybody that will come out today and say, we want to give you Biafra. Nobody will give you Biafra. If we, if we come in, re in returns, what we are doing today is like a government. We even said, the autopilot even said that they have government in Ezra. If you have a government, you have different departments of this government. And every department has its own job. So, if it is so, so why should we be dumbling into every department to shut people down? So, as we are talking today, a lot of commanders who have been complaining are the people that are being threatened that <laughs> they will meet their Waterloo if they don't do one thing or the other, which is not supposed to be. Those people are the people you have been working with since the adoption of Onyendu, since they were introduced to you, but at a time, they become your enemy. So can Biafrans ask our spokesperson, why are those people his enemy today? What really transpired? Why are those people his enemy? Because those people were working with him. If he is calling those people criminals today, what have they done that made them to be a criminal? Is he claiming he don't know them? Or because they are complaining, the funds that are being raised today are raised in the name of this gallant man. The funds are not raised because of any individual. When you go to fundraising, you always say it is for the ESL. So why should this very fund not, not go to the ESL? Why should the fund be diverted somewhere else or be, be used in different things in this very humble family, if not just for the ESL alone? So what I'm trying to say is, we will come back again in this platform if Simon Eber don't respond to what we are trying to call him to order now. 
we will still come back again because there are a lot of things which I have had or which I knew which people may not hear from us today. So for people to know that we are not joking, those that are close to Simon Edward, they should just have their own inner caucus meeting and come up that they should come to this very panel for us to clear this very issue. I don't want to go so further saying some things that may jeopardize what we are doing because the Biafra we are talking about, this very restoration of Biafra can never go down. There are billions of people that are more strong and that are more efficient to carry on if any one of the and if any one of these, the, the, the leader goes down. So this is just what I want to say to the Biafrans today. So you can comment what you want to comment. You can abuse what, the kind of abuse you want to abuse people. We are just trying to tell you people the truth. And the truthful people, they say there is nothing that, that can make darkness to overcome light. No matter what you do, it only takes time. So time shall tell. This is just where I rest my case. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, um, Madam Ify, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ify, that they used to say, Madam Ify, well done. It's not a Jezebel. Because I'm asking for the right thing. Because I'm asking for them to do the right thing. Because I am crying. I'm a voice crying in the wilderness. Crying that things are not done how it's supposed to be done. The ify that you guys, we are all praising them. It's not a Jezebel. It's not an evil woman. It's not this and it's not that. Because I see something that you guys did not see because I am among them. Because I am there with Azoka. Because I know what is happening. That ify now is a bad person. I never said, I never attacked Mad Simon. Mad Simon himself, if he can tell himself the truth, he knows what I'm standing for. He knows where I'm pinpointing. He knows what who I am. All this trash you guys are making here, I don't respond to people that can't think. You don't know the fight I have fought here. You don't know nothing at all. So just keep quiet because you know nothing. We wanted things to be done inside. We wanted this to be sought out privately. We wanted this to be sought out inside the house. Nobody want to come outside. Not even me. Nobody. I was suspended for six months. You guys did not hear, not my voice. Nobody. I was doing my own thing. The things was going wrong. Things was really going wrong. I only cried because of our people that is in the bushes. These are men. These are people that have that has sacrificed for your land. I am only crying for them to get what they should get to defend our land. And you guys are here talking trash. Do you know that when I was suspended for six months, all the people were calling me to send money, I was sending the money to that website. I never said to anybody, please yes, don't you give me your personal money. I never sent, I never sent to anybody, I am not sending the money to the account that Azuka husband is money, it's a signatory. I never sent to anybody. I am not sending the money to that website. No, I did not. I was sending the money. Call all the people in Africa. It is through me that they were sending money and I was doing it. And I was even sending the money using my own. Sometimes they will not even pay me the, 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 the charges. My money goes in there. You guys are just here talking trash. You don't know me. If you know me, you cannot say those rubbish. Have you ever give send money? Home to your people, to people in the in the bushes. Have you done it? Have you ever starved yourself to say no? Instead of them to go hungry, I give them mine. Ignore, ignore, ignore those comments. You are here, okay. voicing rubbish. You are here ignore, talking ignore. trash. You are here saying all manner of rubbish. You know They're nothing. Trolls. So shut up. All we wanted was let things be done right. From when it started, I said we need transparency. That is how Umada started transparency. I said, we need, uh, Azuka, Azuka here said, said we, we are going to be different from the account that others manage. Then when it started, and then what I see, I didn't, it's not happening. And I started saying, why is this like this? Why is this going the way they are going? This is not supposed to be so. We're supposed not to be running this kind of, this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, uh, thing. My name, I don't want it there. I don't want my name. 
Give us statement. Tell us how you are sending money. Tell us how you are sending money to ESN. She stopped giving us. When we started, she was giving us. Uh, she was giving us a, a how much she sent. Later, she stopped giving us how much she sent. She stopped it. We have nothing. And I will come out. You want me, expect me to come out to say, yes, I know what is happening. Whereas I don't know nothing. You expect me to come out to please, say, please, before yes, you continue, I, I want to tell that I want to tell that um that stupid person who is asking me the money I'm holding. Go and ask the person who gave you that information that I'm holding ESM money. Ask the person to give you the receipt of the money they gave me. Since Let you people are just here, just misbehaving. Oh, Ask the person. I don't have time like for two for seven. I don't have time for those guys. They want to who I am. Are you Simon I don't have knows time. me. Tell them to give I you. I want account in Nigeria. Give hold on, hold on. You know what I collected money. Hold on. Tell them to give Let me receipt. tell them. These people are here talking trash, talking whatever you don't know. I fought account in Nigeria. Account that one person want to be managing. I said no. And other woman, other Maureen, Barbara, and Judith. We said no. This cannot happen. One person cannot manage account that belongs to Nigeria. Let me tell you. I am not here for this. Don't ever say what you don't know. Do you understand? All we wanted is, Azuka gave us this issue. She started this. Nobody would have started. Nobody, nobody would have known what is happening if she had done the right thing from the beginning. No, this will not come out if she had done the right thing from the beginning. Nobody will come out out there and start shouting. If Azuka did the right thing, but she thought, no, who are we to talk to her what, what to do? Who is Simon to tell her what to do? She wants to do the same. I even said to Mazi Simon, please let us take Azuka's husband from this account. Erewa is there and one brother is there. I said, let us take them, Azuka and that brother, and put Umada that is in America because she told us there is no Umada in America. She told us it is us that we do not have any other Umada. And I said, let us then, after she now came and she said there's other Umada following us. And I said, please tell Mazi Simon, can you tell Azuka to take her husband out? At least. This will give us peace of mind. Let us stop worrying at this worrying and pinpointing and saying, are they eating our money or not? Because you first want to run a transparency account, run a transparency account. You said to us from the beginning, this is what it's supposed to be. Is it like that? So why are you guys talking trash? What you don't know, you keep quiet. I am not here to yeah. make division. I am not here to any trouble. I am here to do the right thing. If you do the right thing, this could have happened. We could have been here today. But we call him as Simon. When all these men are complaining, I was tired. My money, I send. My money, I give. I, I work and I pay them. I work and I give because I am not the kind of person that can hear cry, that can hear how can I may be dying. I paid, I send my money. If you call all of them today, those that are complaining are with us. Who say that I tell you that those that are complaining are criminals or they are not with us? It's all lie. I have the list. They are in the list when we started. So don't ever tell me that those camp are criminals. Those camp are not criminals. Those camp has been with us from the beginning. Why are you depriving them to give money? Why are you depriving them what they need? So you all stop this trash. You can if, 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 if you don't, if you don't, don't, don't respond. Don't. Will I be jealous of Azuka? For what? If, 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 will I be jealous of her? Everybody is doing what they're supposed to do. Why would she not? If she has no hidden agenda, why would she not? Since she promised that account will be uh, will be given to us to two months, why did account not be given? I am asking you all. I mean, you think we are all stupid? You think we can follow just stupidly following? And nobody asks questions. And things are done. Things are not done right. So please, you guys should just behave yourself and talk whatever you know. If it costs me, you cost your mother. If it costs me for standing on the truth, that cost is got, is returning back to you hundredfold. Because the spirit of Biafra will fight anyone that fight the truth. Let me tell you all. Let us stand on the truth and say the truth at all times. I am not here for anybody. I am not here because somebody called me to fight for freedom. I, for now, I wanted to quit. I wanted to quit this struggle because this is not what I expected. They fired me in 2S because I was fighting for Simon. They fired me in 2S because I said, why, why, why will you do this to Simon? This is not right. Now, the autopilot, the same, I don't even care because I'm here for it. I am here myself. Oh, I am here for, me, for oh, my freedom. I'm not any man. Whether, whatever you just like to say, I do not care. Do whatever you like. So one thing I want to say, also, please, stop to type, please, something I want to say now, please, please, my people, commanders, please, I am not part of you. I don't want to be, and I don't want anything. All I want is support. In the way I can support, I support. All I want to say, please, 
do not if they are using you against each other don't do this don't let anybody use you against another tomorrow it will be your turn tomorrow you they might ask you to do something and you will say i will not do it and they will come, they will use you against the other please don't don't do what is not right don't do, let your conscience guide you if anybody want to use you against another commander say no i can't do that let us be let us face god and know that whatever we do there is god in heaven we are going to give account there is god in heaven if you do this one day it might be your turn so don't go about and doing it and there's another thing also i want to say Gaddafi, stop this you are doing Gaddafi, stop whatever you are causing stop causing this trouble that you are causing i will say the 50 percent of what happened in Omada, Gaddafi caused it Gaddafi, stop going about and threatening people why are you threatening this lady call um, why, um what is that her name why are you threatening her why do you want to eliminate the woman that is what doing great Kill for her head on ground? Why are you why do you want to kill this woman that is doing something that no other person is doing for men on ground? Gaddafi, what is wrong with you? Why are you so wicked like this? Why do you want to destroy everything that Mazin and can Mazin and can build? Gaddafi, who are you? Who are you working for? Actually, accept this question. Enough of all this, Gaddafi. Stop this, please. And you cause all this problem. You started this problem, you know yourself, and all of you talking trash. I do not take, I don't listen to you because I know who I am. I know myself. I'm, I'm God chosen. I may have the fear of God. I am here to fight for freedom, and nobody can push me around. I am very ready for whatever you are bringing. I do not care. But all I'm telling you, stop all this rubbish. Let us focus. Nazi Simon, please, nobody hated you. I never hated you. You know it. I will never hate you. All I want to do is for you to do the right thing. Please, Mad Simon, if there is any powers that have entered you, that is causing you to be doing what you're doing now, I pray that God will help you because this is not you that I've met before. This is not you, Mad Simon, that I know from the beginning. Mad Simon, please, may God help you to take you out from this spell that has entered your eyes because you told me that you'll be defending the truth. And now what is going on? Mad Simon, please, stop this. Stop this. Come together. We love you. We never hated you. Well, your people want you to fight, and we all want to get our freedom. Nobody wants to hurt you. Please, my Simon, please come back. Please let God help you. Because we are, you, are, you say our spokesperson. We have called you now. Come again. If you say that these are our men are not doing the right thing, come let us know how we put it together so that the things will move forward. That is all we pray, and that is all we seek for. Nobody wants your downfall. May God bless you. I pray that God will help you. you so I pray God will help you, my Simon, for you to Thank fulfill you. whatever God has called you to do. He said, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Marzi Odikema is here. Uh, please, Marzi, I think um, we, we have been speaking. So let's um, get, let you go on. Please, you can go on, please. Marzi Odikema, are you here? Can you hear? Okay, maybe he's not um, yet ready, or maybe um, you, since you are muted. Because uh, yes, okay. um, we are not on the new one. Yes, I'm working on my system. Okay. My name is Mazor in Kemang Kendel again. I thank so much Chukwu Kabiama for today. I cannot hear you, but I believe that uh, you can hear me. Yes. If you can yes. hear me, can you please nod your head? Yes, yes, yes. Can hear you. Okay, 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 okay. I thank you, Kabiama, because I remember on the 19th of July, 2022, when my name was announced, and also Mazer Chidoze. Because that's I am somebody who has this very struggle at heart. My document is with the Biafran recognition. That is to say that I have already given out myself in this very course. Am I coming out clear? Loud, loud and clear, yes. Now, we know that uh, on the 19th of July, 2021, 20, if I'm not 
mistaken, when our leader Mazen Namdekan was kidnapped. Right? But on the 19th of July, I got a report from Maz Iwechkuma, one of the strong comrades in Ebony State. This complaint labored against China Samoru. Igwo Bunnaya, the state coordinator of Ebony State, and the rest of the executive. Now, also, a few years back, our leader Mazen Namdekano sacked this very coordinator of Ebony State and the entire executive. But because that the allegiance to China Samoru, they refused to step down to hand over to the state coordinator, which only the Mazen Nam, they can recognize. Wisdom is the king, one bam. And then Iwich Kuma gave me a report that these few individuals that only do sack during the NSAC protest in 2020, that they are still controlling, causing mayhem, killing our people. And I'll send this very report to the state coordinator of Germany, because we are in the same unit. This report was meant to send to the HOD from his audit Mazen Nam the Kano. But not knowing that two days only the Mazen Nam the Kano was kidnapped. And because that I'm somebody who always speak my calls, because like I always say that my phone number that people knows me with yeah. is for the Afro. Now, these very reports keep on coming from Ebony State constantly. So also reporting to these very reports. Now, my point is this. Immediately, when this exposition, just like what we are doing today, came from Ebony State, I have to host the executive of the people that only do recognize. What I now did is for them to report exactly what happened. And from there, I begin to do exposition. Should I continue? Yes, please. Now, that was how I begin to make analysis, to speak the truth, because I remember what Kelechi said, that what he is here to do as a media for this very agitation is to speak the truth. Am I correct? Very correct. And I stand on that. We begin to expose. I begin to expose. This exposition was done on the 1st of September down to 7th of September 2021. It is purified and holy exposition. This exposition made wave that people begin to ask questions. Before you know it, a news broker that only do was kidnapped. So I now know where the problem is. It was this very exposition that make us make me to make investigation against China Samoru on the affair of the Eastern Security Network. While making that exposition, I've been able to interview a lot of commanders of the Eastern Security Network. And the information that I gathered make me to break through and make sure that Biafra is being restored. Because kidnapping only in the Mazen Nam the Canon, their next game is to close down the IPUB and Biafra agitation. Am I correct? We rescued that. 
Now, coming to this point where we are today on what we are doing, because I just want to fast forward it, because if I begin to tell this story, it's a very long story. Coming to what we are doing today is to speak the truth and let Afrans know that there is imminent war between the Eastern Secret Network, those that are legends to Simon Eba, and those that stand on the side of Mazen Nam the Kanu. Because with the exposition that I made concerning Tina Sanwaru, I meant to understand that a lot of unit commanders escalated in a sense that they don't know who to trust. So when we put together with Simon Eba, we advise him that a lot of bad things is happening in Enugu State, where criminalities are going on because of that dispatch, and they don't want to obey the command of Enugu State. So it is best for us to put this family together, let them answer to the state commanders why they have their unit form board of members of finance. Each unit will be autonomous, but with the approval of the state coordinator or commander that they are following the rules of engagement. Now, when we do that, we also be funding them autonomous. But they will always listen to the command. Now, our job is to fund ESN while they do their job. Because if we remember that there are groups that are called themselves unknown government. And those unknown government are the people who are just doing their job. They are not responsible. Or ESA is not responsible. Mazen Namdaka is not responsible. So feed them. Give them their work. They know what to do. Do not command them. Do not instruct them. It's just taking me to what Kalechi talked about, about the commander that was being threatened by Simon Eba. The video, the voice note is there. The voice of Simon Eba is there. Because I believe that most of you will be saying, give us proof. The voice of Simon Eba is there, threatening him. A commander that lost two men and to any hospital. The money given to him to buy those things, they need to uphold those things that they bought in order to wait for the next attack. But because that he is legend Mazen Nam the Khan, he refused to surrender to what Simon is asking for, to destroy the unit by unit, having penetrating in order to have a command using the fund. We are advising that it is going to be a dangerous game. Let us help these people put them together, including that of Enugu State. Then all these things will stop. That very advice become a very threat to Simon Eber. If you also remember when the propaganda of this very exposition against DOS done by Simon, of which of course, after three months that I rescued the struggle. What am I trying to say here? That Simon is now funding the people who are loyal to him to go and fight against the commander of Ebony State. He wants to penetrate, but he couldn't allow them. There are a lot of people, a lot of commanders also refused. 
there are ones that we discovered lots of them that simon don't even know about it each time we try to send him a message true blessing i have sent them a message true blessing to deliver but blessing want me not to send him message again that's probably what they did to myself and Mazi Chidoze. So try everything possible mean to work with him. Pastor Livingstone, we try everything possible to send him every evidences of what transpired because a lot of things. I have not started my own exposition. I'm just here to support on what we are doing here. I have evidences. Imagine. Uh, when they accuse me that I open an account asking people to donate money into a particular account, that was a lie. All the money was transferred to the website. And I make sure that every group, WhatsApp group, they deliver. The WhatsApp group was created. Simon was aware of it. There is a video to prove that. The money donated was paid into the website. Am I lying, Ambrose? Of course, yes. They were paid into the website. Good. So Simon closed those groups because he felt that I am going to overshadow him. Like I said, my document is recognized with the Afro. But most of the people fighting this freedom have Nigerian passports. Go and take a picture or wear a cap. Take a biometric passport. A place where they write Nigeria, beside it, write Biafra. It is going to help you to process the passport, UN passport. And then when it expires, it stretch off that Nigeria, Biafra remains. Automatically, the data in the United Nations will now be replaced with Biafra instead of Nigeria. You know, most of the preachings that Simon never preached, he forgot it. I am not his fans, but I watch his program. I watch his program. He said that we are going to bring Biafra from diaspora if Nigeria did not give, us, give it to us. He had forgotten this. And the way to have this Biafra from diaspora is for us to be recognized as Biafra. That is where this document comes in. He had forgotten, but I never forgot. Because when he made that very preaching, he pushed me to go and make sure that Biafra is recognized in my document. All right, Mazi. So, what am I trying to say here? Okay. Um, because of time, we're we are here to expose. Yes. A lot of things. Let me hold it here. All right. Thank you so much, Mazi. We appreciate you. I, I wish we have enough time so that you can say some other things. Because of the time, we already spent three hours. We have two minutes to make it three hours. So we don't want to bore people and get them to so we'll, ha we'll always have time and um, i've decided that um from now i'll be looking up to whatever will be posted whatever simon will say because we called him to into to the boardroom to discuss he decided to bring us out and to want to blackmail us i don't i can never stand anybody blackmailing me because i know i'm standing on the truth i've never been blackmailed by anybody those ones who try to blackmail me later found out that i stood for the i'm standing for the truth so if any time they come out now with any information, I will also come out. Since it has now become a media thing, I will also make myself available to also engage them by media. Since we have tried to be gentlemen to talk in the boardroom, he feels that he's not a leader that can discuss in the boardroom. He feels he is a leader that will come to social media and try to rubbish other people. I too would also come to social media. So I'm with him. Um, I heard of um, um, 247 who says um, 
I was giving money. I was collecting money here and there. I'm waiting for him to bring evidence. But when I have time to talk about him, I'll talk about him. Maybe he wants me to talk about him. But all those people who are talking about um, you know, so many things and just um, abusing and all of that, time will tell. You're going to know if we are standing for the truth or not. But we know that what we're doing here is to help you. We are not going to build a nation where I am not, I'm not going to be part of that kind of nation. I didn't leave Nigeria. If it's, if, it's, if it's about being in criminality, then I should remain in Nigeria because I know I can be criminal in Nigeria and make money. I can do it very well. I have the brain to be criminal and make money in Nigeria. But since we say we want to have Biafra, because I know I can be criminal in Nigeria and make money. Uh, sorry, do you want me to continue? To be criminal and make money in Nigeria. No, I have to say you are from Ghana. You are not from Biafra. That's his business. Even if I'm a Ghanaian, I have a right to fight for Biafra. That's his business. Maybe he wants to know where uh, he wants to know where I'm from. I don't have time for Gaddafi. If he says I'm a Ghanaian, yes, I agree. And I want to fight for Biafra. I have a right because I love Biafra. Somebody, um, uh, Mayrock Bruce, set himself ablaze. He's a Colombian. He went to you um to um to British Embassy in Colombia and set himself ablaze uh, Mayrock, and killed himself. himself Do you want me to continue? He was not a Biafra. So Adikema, please, even if you're just going to use just two minutes, please, just round off. Uh, maybe you have something to say. Just two minutes so that we can close this program and then we can go. Thank you so much, please. Just please, bear with us with that. Who do you say want to Imagine say? Imagine Adikema say you want to say something also. I think I heard it. Yeah, just I want please, to go because I, I am... All right, all right, all right. Who do you say want to say something? I kind of had a thought about this we i am i am going to i am going to say that uh, um we are going to continue this very program am i right yes we are going to we're going to definitely so um i want to respond to a lady here she said just tune in please sorry i am going to restream it immediately for okay. those of you that have not watched it or maybe want to listen to it again because we've been here for like three hours now yes, yes. so you go and watch it at Mazi or the income and can they watch again two on youtube good night right. thank you so much Mazi. uh matthias um, gloria says um, i'm destroying everything well we we tried to be diplomatic we wanted to deal with things in-house and simon decided to come to social media he's not the only one who can come to social media you cannot rubbish people name people's names on social media and expect them to be quiet we called him twice the first time he did it we kept quiet did i say anything i've not said anything since then in spite of all the things and all of that the second time again he now came all out and the third time again of course he has come all out which is the last one he was doing yesterday so anytime it comes to social media to talk about anybody and to blackmail anybody i'll also come out on social media let's keep doing the debt if you think that i'm your enemy for that well that's your business because i know that i'm standing on the truth and i know that everybody here in this panel stands for the truth so you cannot come and rubbish me and think that i'll keep quiet and everybody wants to say hey don't say anything let's me let's please don't talk no no it doesn't work that way if you don't want us to talk go back to simon tell him stop this nonsense and call people in the boardroom and discuss you are talking to men you are not talking to boys these are people who are dignified in their own areas I am dignified in my own area. I know what I've done. He doesn't know things about me. So I've done lots for the fact that I humble myself under him and begin to work under him. Doesn't mean he'll come and rubbish me in public. I, I don't, I, anything that we will make Simon to come and rubbish me in public or any of them to rubbish me in public, I'll come all out from today. It's, it's, a, it's a promise. I'm not going to be quiet anymore. I'm going to come and I'm going to say more things and I'm going to bring evidences. So I've, we've just done an introduction today. If he continues to come on social media, thinking that leadership means to spoil things and you, you people think that i'm the one spoiling things then something is wrong with you because if your leader cannot come to the boardroom to discuss he comes to social media to castigate and jeopardize issues and you think that the person who is coming to defend himself is the one causing problems then something is wrong with you so forget mm -hmm. all this sentiment and all these emotions you guys are playing here go back and talk to him let him go to the boardroom and discuss with people we're going to raise a panel azuka must give account of the monies that she has spent she must give account um, the issue of the house, she said, was burnt. She must give account. The issue of the men who are being killed, she must give account because we, we, we want to know what is happening. So a panel will be raised and Biafrans have a right to raise panel. It's just like when you have an issue in a nation. The people have a right. Then you have human rights organizations. You have other people. They, they raise a panel. They work. They do the underground work. And when you have facts, you bring it out to the public. And that is why you can go to court. 
That is why you can take the government to court. So if you say I don't have rights, where well, something's wrong with you, go and learn. And we are going to do it on public. And that is why yes, we are going to do it on public. It's going to be a public panel. So we are not here to hide anything. If you think I'm a criminal, you have information about me as being a criminal. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. We're not hiding. So if you have a fact about anybody being a criminal or somebody collected money somewhere or stole money, bring it out. So thank yeah, you. Very much. We, when we start, we are going to be transparent. Very well. Very transparent. We, when we, when we start, we are going to be transparent. And we are going to be showing you how much that we have, how much we, we, we gathered. You'll be seeing everything. And the men, they are going to be in one command, getting That's what right. they're supposed to get. Take care of their families. Families are part of the things that uh, 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 Azoka and Simon promised them. Biafrans, do you know that the, even the telegram where they are paying one thousand uh, $100 every month, it has been deleted. All the evidences no, have been deleted. But we have it. Deleted. We have it on video. We are going to play it for you. So this panel is going to be on public, giving the account. Because a lot of men complain that they are not getting anything. Some say five months. Some say four months. Some say seven months. Some say nine months. They are not getting anything. Yes. A lot but of people, you people should just think about commanders if you have the been sad um they are not getting Mas, anything. Mas Kemma, what I just want to say is that um we those have, ones that stand on the doctor of Mazan the can now he is now using the ones that are loyal to him, planning to go and attack and eliminate the commander of a bunny state. Please, can you give me space? I need to talk. So about this is must please. stop. All right, please. Just um, into, um it please. must stop. Just round up. Let's all round off uh, because yes, we'll have plenty let's of time. Let's all round yes, off here. Yeah. One minute each. Let's take one minute each. And then one minute each. Go. One minute each, please. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. One minute each. Madam Mickey, please. One minute. Okay. Ah, <sighs> again. Eh? We never anticipated that we are going to land, it's going to be this way again. Never. All we wanted is, you know, we asked DOS for a panel. I remember Azuka was the one shouting, shouting, we want a panel. So why is he not getting a panel on, uh, during this mm. her own time? Why is she refusing a panel then? Was she not the one that was shouting, we want panel, DOS, we want panel, and DOS is saying no. And the same thing Azuka does, crying for panel. We are saying, we want a panel because this is not right. You cannot be starving men for six months, seven months, five months, not Nine feeding months. money. And they are all crying. Do you What do you expect us to do? I am one of the Umada. So anybody that tells me, Madam, you don't know what you are talking, I have all the evidences. So keep quiet. And we don't want to go there. I do not want all these evidences to be coming out. Never. We want things to be sought inside the house. Let us sort this inside the house because that is how mature people handle things. That is how people that know that they have genuine, genuine, you are genuine in whatever you are doing, that you have no hidden agenda. If you know you have no hidden agenda, we need a panel so that we can go and sort all these things out because these men are our men. These are not the, the dual ex criminal men or these are not the criminals. These are our men. We need them to come in because if we are going to fight for freedom, to get our freedom, we need these men. They have sacrificed their life. What they need is for us to take care of their welfare. What they need is for us to contribute and, and the money reach out to them. The money does not, you, 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 cannot, you cannot say this money is not coming. Then if you say it's not coming, let us know how, how much we are earning so that we can be able, one or two or three people or four people, we know, okay, we are not earning much. Then we cannot back it up. In this case, do you want me to back Azuka up and say, yes, we are not earning enough money? Whereas no accountability, whereas no transparency. That is how I started. I said, things are going wrong. Things have to be done right. So Same that much. is my point. If you, you started very well. You started very well. Please, 
Mazina Kanu say, do not let the devil enter you. I keep telling that to you. Do not let the devil enter you. If this time around, I don't know. We are a baby miracle book over. On a children can now you have become a car. Obu ne wuri head you wait today. We make it in if you say so. Kuna ina say kuzi ina defend in all draw. Katina ke wepi aki phrase oku ki kubia because this is not you. I rest my case. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Madam Ifi. Um, Mazi and Chilozi, please. Okay. Uh, day one. Just one uh, minute, please. Please just make it brief. Okay. Time. Yeah. All right. Ezoku bundo. Uh, truth is life. So no matter how messy it is, as long as we are talking the truth, as long as we are telling the truth, that's what it takes. So truth is life. Those that want to lie, that's the opposite. The death. Um, quick thing about what's going on on ground. The immediate, the, the what is immediate is the infighting. Biafras cannot allow their donations to be used to manipulate and threat ESN. We have now put you on notice. If you say you didn't know, that's up to you. Ask questions. Nobody said don't support. If you're going to support, ask questions. Be account hold the people accountable. Don't be psychophants. Don't be reckless. If you're going to, you know, you want to know what is what is how does he manage that money that is given to him. You don't want to ask. All you want to say, don't say this, don't say that about him. No, 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 no. Draw the draw. Because you are responsible for any ill evil that is done with that. You support it, you didn't ask questions, you didn't check, and somebody uses it and misuses it. And you come around and say, I didn't know. No, now you know. We put you on notice. So you should be asking for a panel. You should be calling for accountability. Day one. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. Thank you so much, um, Mazi. So, um, um, Mazi, I'm, okay. Mazi, I'm Bruce. Let me just, um, yes, let me just can, take yes. the let, let yes. me take the mic. Um, they will know Muchineke. What I just want to say is that um, we have um, we have tried to come out here to set the record straight. And what I want to say to the BF fans is, those that are close to Simon Ekma should go back to him and tell him that um, he still have um, some chances to come to the panel where he's been called. So this issue will be resolved because um as na I did Jimbabu where I log. And another thing, the ban to say that na Ebe Belu go belu because maybe I'm a bit and that is justice. We all know this. As na Ojofo Ghana. So why I'm saying this is just that without justice in whatever you are doing, there will never be peace. And this justice yeah. is what we are just um clamoring for now. We need justice in every question that have been asked. And for it not to escalate, as people have been saying different manner of things they are saying or writing against this very um, broadcast and this panel, they should as well as go back to the person in, 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 in this very issue, which is the spokesperson to autopilot. We are all one family that he should come back and respond to the call that he was called. So this issue will be resolved and we can move forward for the restoration of Biafra. This is just what I have for the Biafra people. They will. Thank you so much, Mazi Ken. We want to move forward. Mazi, do you have anything to say? Just one minute, please. Okay, I think he's gone. Um, so he has already spoken. So um, Prince, please take it up. All right. Um, I, want, uh, I, want, I want to make we sure we can put know. next time. We can put it oh, next time. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. No problem. So, can I go now? Can I do yes, it please. now? Yes. Please. Okay. Yes, Thank please. you. Thank you. Um, Bikon, Bikon, I am Mono. And of course, what I'm saying now is primarily to the six people here, not necessarily to be our friends. I need you all to know. I'm going to hand around here that you must ignore statements. In fact, we know Simon, but the criminals will first of all call you criminals. That is what happens in nature. So, ignore and don't forget that in this. So social networking systems, people now were, especially the real criminals, Agahe were different names, but 
awkward the same oh, person yeah. and make the comment. The same person. So don't go thinking, oh, the old they, they are not understanding. No, 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 no. There are people who are in this place. One person, but six names. Or in fact, it could be the real person you're talking about, just coming from different angles, pretending as if no one in a the genuine beer friends will know the truth. They, they see the light. They test every spirit. Okay? The most important thing is to hold on to that message of Unandekano. Any beer friend, anybody in this world who knows what to say or do to get Biafra, they should go and say and do that. And it is on that platform that we know that not in a trillion years will any one person or group of individuals stop Biafra from coming? I rest my case here for now because I know more will come. Yes. And Biafra is here. We just want to make sure that we are not carrying Nigeria with us when we go into Biafra because God yes. is destining Biafra to do a specific work. And if we fail in doing that work, the wrath of God will be upon us and we would wish Fulani to be upon us. Because if we fail to do that, which God had assigned for Biafra to do, the wrath of God will be upon us and we will regret it forever. I thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. I want to appreciate everybody. Um, we have to go now. We will always, of course, thank you very you. much. Thank, thank you, you very much for that wonderful what you said now thank you so much we're, we're going to decide on what um of course we are still going to meet and discuss and know what next to do we're expecting in many ways to respond to us um so that we can sort out these things indoors not coming to social media again but if he wants to come to social media we'll also come again that, that, that's, up, that's up to him however he wants to yes. deal with it yes. yeah um, yes. we are we're all we're all on autopilot so thank yes, you we're on autopilot, so that's what it means thank you so much everybody thank you madam ifi thank you Marzio Dikema. thank you so much um ken Thank you so much, um, Chidezier. Thank you so much, Prince. Thank you so much, all. And all their friends, true their friends with the spirit of God in them. Thank you so much. Those of you who can go back, sit Prince, down. Thank, thank you, you much very much. And, all friends, and, over it, and you'll get the truth. And the truth will set you and make you free. Thank you so much, thank all. You. We'll meet you again. Thank you, so thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.